Testing, testing. One, two, three. Whoop at me. Testing, testing, testing. Five, six, nine. I am now currently possibly online.
All right, all right, good evening. Hello, how you all doing? I'm all good, I'm all situated today. Sorry for being a little late. Jesus Christ. Hey, good evening. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a, having a decent day today. Night of space. Hey, Rion. It's going good today. How you all doing? Oh boy, can't wait to see the London chapter. Who's Peppa Pig from London? Who the hell is Peppa Pig from, actually? The last time we streamed anything Peppa Pig related was like... Oh god. Over a year ago? I think? Daisy, I promise I'd do it this year. Uh, because, uh, you know, it was, it was Roxy's birthday. And she asked about it, and I was like, Yeah, sure, I'll absolutely stream that for your birthday. And, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... It's a... I really hate that thing. Daisy, we're starved of Peppa content. There are three Peppa Pig games, and only two of them are available to me. I'm doing my best. Well, I have the, you know, available on PC anyways. One of them's like a mobile game. I don't really know how to do that one. It's like a DS game. I don't want to do it. Oh, man. So, hey, did you know that... Hey, why is something fucking weird? Hold on. Let me just... So this game... Uh... About this game... So when you have it in your Steam library... Kinda like... Oh god, hold on. It kinda don't look right. But... The logo... The logo for the game... It's like it's the same logo, except for, uh, you know, the mouth is open now. That's kind of weird, right? Did you know when you open this game on your toolbar, it says Peppa Pig 2? The mouth is open, she's no longer your friend. Now, really, I don't see a big difference between these games. Are you really playing Peppa Pig Spacey? Yeah. Has she learned how to whistle? I don't know, I'm mildly afraid. Wait, could she not whistle before? Or... How wide will the mouth be open next time? <laughs> Why enough to have a Nintendo Switch? Somehow Oggy Wuggy looks friendlier than Peppa Pig. I'd, I'd sooner be friend uh, Huggy Wuggy, I'd agree. Isn't Peppa Pig like canonically eight foot tall? something like that. Peppa Pig is... <laughs> Did somebody change it? Somebody change it? Oh no, yes. Yeah, now it's like a disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, seven foot, one inch tall. Seven foot tall. Well, if you Googled it, it used to just say seven feet, one inch, and nothing else. Now there's like a disclaimer from like a wiki. <laughs> yeah, with four eyes. You're right. I keep seeing the app for the Peppa Pig theme park when I go down the I-4. What the fuck do you do at the Peppa Pig theme park on I-4? Well, I need to get a drink. Should have brought alcohol. Let me just, uh. Oh god. Oh lord. Pretend the park exists. I'm kind of afraid of the park. Gotta yeah, be honest with you. Oh, I come to Pet Pig. I mean, you come to Tato Park. Oh! I 
uh, that was me opening my, uh, that was me opening, uh, that, you remember, remember when I bought those cans of Monster? Uh, several days ago? And I drank, like, one? Yeah, the second one just, uh, like, fucking shockwaved at me. <laughs> This is going good. Tastes like piss. Ugh. I should refrigerate it. Warning shot from Peppa. I think I'm being shot at. No, man. I don't want it. It's scary. That was a warning from Monster for threatening their trademark. <laughs> That scared the shit out of me, I'll let you know, by the way. It was like a missed shockwave. It's fine. Nothing seems like it's dirty, it just... Huh. Piss and ink. Uh... <sighs> this is gonna go well. Also, King Kaida, thank you for the six-month resub. Thank you, thank you, and egg off the thank you for the 30-month resub. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for taking a hot minute during my shenanigans. I greatly do appreciate it though. And Loop and Wolf and Jinx, thank you very much for following, and I hope you both enjoy your stay here. Okay. Let me just uh, slowly ease out of this. Space, you wanna live? You already sound like you're ready to toss your cookies. No, I did that the other day. I'm fine now. What is this music? This is Children of the City by Mealy. And it's uh, very good, and I heavily recommend it. Good, good, good band. Good music. It's all from, like, Lobotomy Corporation and stuff. It's nice. Well, not all of their stuff is, but you know what I mean. Uh, now, let me just, um... Alright. Mm, yeah, that, that thing can stay over there. Let me just, um... Yeah, it seems about fair. It seems about good. You alright, you alright, mini rotating plush loaf? No, he's still enjoying his thing, regardless of the content being displayed here today. Uh, let me do this... Do that... So this game is a really fucking creepy, uh, uh, start screen, and I hope it captures it so people don't think I'm crazy, but it's really realistic looking. And you'll see. Or maybe you won't. It won't capture. I'm going crazy. It's like candy. It's all... It, it was like candy corn being shuffled around like a bag, but there's no way for me to capture it because the capture can't grab it that fast. But it's like somebody's like fucking shoving cotton candy at my- or, uh, candy corn at my face. Jesus, my ears. Welcome to my new video game. <laughs> I haven't set the clock tower so no one will find me. Oh, God. The opening sequence was all in your head. I'm I'm in a, I'm gonna wake up in a fucking asylum. <sighs> when we go to play the Barbie games, one time I tried G Fuel for the first time at a friend's house back in 2011, 2012, or something like that, while I was waiting for Resident Evil 6 to come out, and I wound up passing out and waking up. And apparently, I had 100 percent at Barbie or not Barbie. I think it was called Horses 2. Regardless, I accidentally stole the controller from the house. Anyways. Oh, Lord. To be honest, this does start on a cruise ship like that one sequel to Clock Tower. Oh, uh, did I get the controller back? I don't think I ever got the chance. Ugh. Ah, holy shit. All right. Uh, v sync, thirty FPS, sixty FPS, unlimited V sync. Can't yeah, just have no V sync. Yeah. All right. Unlimited means V sync off. Oh, really? Thank you. 
Parental control. Ah, five minute play limit for Peppa Pig 2 on PC. Ah, I feel. So you can have. <laughs> now, okay, sweetie, now that you're done doing your trigonometry, you can have five minutes of Peppa Pig on the computer. Just five minutes. Uh, God, the colors are so bright. This does not fit my my mental New friend. New friend. Yeah. Hey, long run. Thank you for following. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome on in, new friends. Uh. Okay, first things first. Pick the clothes you're going to wear. I want to be an orb. Which color would you like them to be? To people who don't know, this could almost look like you're shitting on clock time. I'm hiding here because... The, the, the real reason I don't want this, like, set the Peppa Pig is I don't want... I don't want... I don't want... I don't want, like, I don't know, somehow, like, a kid clicks on, it's like, Oh my god, Peppa Pig! I can't wait to go out and see Peppa Pig tonight! It's my favorite show! Yeah, I don't, I don't want that to happen, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'll just... I'll, I'll just, I'll just stay here. <laughs> I'll just stay here. Are you gonna Peppa Yeen? No. Uh... Now it's time to choose the animal you're going Man, to. I just joined a clock tower Discord. I hope one of them doesn't come in here and sees this. <laughs> so I hear you're a big fan of clock tower ghost. Oh! <laughs> Persona maker, is that a goat? I... I can't fucking tell what half of these are. Okay, wolf. Or dog. Cat. Hey. Hey. Giraffe. Giraffe. Okay, rabbit. the tail. Yeah, I guess so. What the fuck is that? Does pig have a gun to your head? Blink twice if yes. I don't know what you're talking about. A rat? Are you sure? The, like, tail's not that long. The rat, rat tail's armadillo, potentially. A mole? Yeah, a mole. It's a mole. It's definitely a mole. Fox. That's a mouse. Naked mole rat? That's a kangaroo. Ass. That's a goat. Okay, what do you think? Uh... Okay. Oh, Christ. Goat? Damn, no bird? No birds allowed. Birds are government drones. They don't exist. Oh, I forgot this thing. Wait, that's the cat. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this thing? That's the cat. Cat 2? But we already had a cat. Cat 2. Curse cat hamster? Are you sure about that one? The tail. Or, the, the tail. Looks like I got a new friend in the bottom left there. Make sure to listen to their voice, give it to their every demand. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Its nose is flat. Its head is way smaller than everything else. Which means it's gotta have a smaller brain size, right? I mean, the head is not like. 
you know, proportional to the rest of the body. It's just another cat. Why is it at the fucking end? Why is the cat at the fucking end? Why can't I play as a pig? And Peppa Pig? Wait, why is there no pig option, really, actually? Gen I'm actually genuinely asking on this one, why is there no pig? <laughs> I don't think there's an option for that. <laughs> this is Peppa Pig, right? This is like... the pig thing. Ah, uh, thank you for the 31 month resub cause. You know, I, I woke up in a drunken state after my nap. I saw the message, my brain did not respond. I do not know why, but I'm damn glad they're coming to pick you up in the morning. Pigs are too powerful, there are no pigs. Okay. Where'd everybody go, bingo? Uh, all right, I guess I'll... Guess I'll be the goat. Lovely. And what color is it? I can't. All these goats look like flesh. All of, all of these goats look like flesh. I, oh, it's a cow? What do you mean it's a cow? I don't look like a cow. What the fuck do you mean that's a cow? I don't see no uder. Pink cow. Do you want to wear a pair of glasses? Nothing. 60s. Harry Potter. What the fuck is that shape? Locked Tower Sniper. Pride Month. Uh. them rainbow glasses they're so hideous they're so ugly and how about her sure all right is it a goat or is it a cow oh there's the pig detective thing polar cap thing a bow french that's what is that? Think am I working in a hotel? Pimp. Pirate. Pirate pimp. <laughs> okay. Very well done. If you're ready to play, choose yes. If you'd like to make any changes, choose no. You know, I gotta be honest, this is already an improvement over the first Peppa Pig game because at least there's like choice of customization here that like wasn't present in the first game. Oh god. Yeah, this game's like a flashbang for my retinas every every two seconds. Welcome. It's very nice to meet you. I crawled out of hell. You're ready to have lots of fun. But let's start from the beginning. Can you move around a bit? You can walk around the area in any direction you want. You dare me to play this? I promise I'd play it after uh, a you know, friend uh, at their birthday. And why does it say clock tower so no one will find me? Splendid. Actually, this you is like clock tower if you think about it. Why don't we keep going this way? And I'm side scrolling. I don't know. Somebody's going to come up behind me with a knife. Are you gonna get the secret ending? There's a what? I got all the achievements in the first game. Don't look at me. A muddy puddle. Again? Everybody loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. How about you? Do you want to jump up and down too? I'll show you how. It's very easy. Just jump walk it. to the muddy puddle and jump in it when the icon appears. Oh. Is it looping, but... Great job. 
that was fun, wasn't it? If you see this icon again, follow its guide. Who knows what new fun things you will find. You're doing a space, eh, grazie. Shut the fuck up, do we? Ah, yes. Family. Your family, of course. It's a tree. about time we meet them, don't you think? A Why tree. don't you start by telling me about your parent? Ah, well, my dad's a conspiracy theorist. Pretty sure he, he like, hates, you know, his, his own race. There's, there's my mom. You know, she's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, she, uh, she's really good at crochet. Oh, she's your parent, or should we make some changes? <laughs> What's that dumpster icon, huh? What's that do? That's a wolf. Delete parent. Let's get the first thing out of the way. What should your parent wear? Good choice. Can I dress my what parent like a pimp? Clothes. Uh, it's yellow. Great. Now, what kind of animal are they? What is that horrifying thing still? Hey! Mike, thank you for the 131 bit. Please don't look at it. Hey, Jerry came to links. Thank you for the demo three sub. Why does your mom look like Kaz? You stop that. <laughs> Make the parents look absolutely nothing like you. That's, yeah, you know, that's a good idea. That's horrifying. Of course, okay. of course. And their color? Ours. Make them all one unified color. We're done. What a great outfit. Some people have small families. As small as two people. No family is better than the other. They're just different. What about yours? Is it a large family? You can add more family members by using the plus sign. Or you can start the game with I the family I can't move my cursor. Now. Just go to the check sign and use it to confirm your family. What's the cross in the field? That's dad. <laughs> now that the family is all here, let's have some fun together. Uh -huh. How about a game of football? To play, just walk to the ball and... Mr. British man, that's not a football. Oh. I'm sorry. Come on then, try <laughs> and score a goal. Ew, it's got a voice! Yeah, you... Yeah, that... Eat shit, mom. What a nah, I don't feel good saying good that. Job. I need to text my Why mom now. Try again? I just want—I just want to text her. I love you. It'll make—it'll make me feel better about everything that happens this stream. I could text her at fucking 1 a.m. just saying I love you. <laughs> Okay. I hope she doesn't think I'm like in a hostage situation because I because I only texted I love you at like 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> hey, hot! Thank you for the hundred bits. That's it. Pro tip: Don't I love you? Jump scare your mom. <laughs> she fucks with me all the time, anyways. Okay, She's okay. not even trying. I'm you breaking ankles over here. Yeah, that's why. That's why Dad died. That's why. That's why Ronaldinho Sasser is in here for me today. Mom's throwing. I can't believe it. Welcome, welcome. I'm Mr. Oh, it's Mr. Bull. And this is Mr. Rhinoceros. Rhino. We have we, we have fan art of Mr. Rhinosaurus. We have fan oh, art of Mr. Rhinosaurus. The house was already built. I remember that. Somebody drew them oh, all no, like big. No. <laughs> we were waiting for you. Yeah, they're gay. But don't worry, it will be done in a jiffy. They fucking. And this way, we can build a house together, just hey. as you want it. Wolfie, thank you for the nine month resub. Thing about building houses. Oh, it's very easy. I will show you. 
Are you sure they're a couple in canon? Wait, really? Because that was just my head canon. With the wall. Oh you my god. The one you like the most. This game's they're just like Fallout 4. Solid walls. Is that is that something you have to emphasize? Is the moment a hurricane going to plow through? It's going to plow through and kill me and me and mom just like that? After that rogue soccer accident? What are you implying by that? Now, are you selling us a new home? To roofs. That's a horrifyingly ugly... <laughs> That's... Yeah, I got one fired. Nice choice! No, dog. Thank you for the hundred bits. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday again. You forgot to change the game title? No, I didn't. Uh. I wanted to be purple in case a vampire walks up and is unable to find the entrance. Terrific. Now, let's choose the window. It's a church. Do I want church windows that don't close? Yeah. Almost done. How about a little decoration? That was Maybe yesterday. A swing? A tree? Whatever you fancy. It's not yesterday on the West Coast. Uh. Where the hell is. Oh. The cock is behind me, isn't it? I want it. That's a great house. Should we finish it? I'm on the East Coast. Well, you know what? Happy extra birthday. You're aging again. Hey, Dairaku, thank you for the gift sub. I'm <laughs> taking your lunch money again. You want to do this to me? It turned out very well, if I do say so myself. Did you just build that? I did. I can't wait to see how it looks inside. Ha ha ho! We will leave you to it then. Goodbye, you neighbors. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Mr. Rhinoceros. Why was there an audio clip there? Like, there's like a, there's like a go, glitch before saying bull. You heard that, right? Like it. it has furnishings? Whose jacket think? is that? I think we will be happy. Here. That shirt's too small for me. Who could it be? Is that Tad's? Well, let's go out and find out. I wonder who might be at the door. Is that Dad's shirt behind you, Mom? Is this hat is this house exactly the same as Peppa's from the first game? I lose my mind. This is the same house, right? Don't open the door, Spacey. I want to get the Amori route. I don't want to go to the door. I want to be a Hikikikikikimori. Shut up. Man, she's just a deer in the headlights, sir. Huh. Okay, but I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Good night, old dog. When does the scissor man appear? Any moment now. Yo, this place came with a fucking abacus. Go away. Hey, Mom, why don't you check the door? Why are you gonna have me check it? Okay. It's not an abacus. You can't tell me what's up and what's down. Does your mom not have a room? That's a good question. We have such a big house and all. Oh. Ah, you must be the new neighbors. Mm. We thought we'd come by and welcome you to the neighborhood. How do you welcome. know? Welcome, I'm Peppa Pig. Mom this wields the bat when you open the door. This is Mummy Pig, and this is my little brother George. I don't like. The, I don't like George. I know you just arrived. He, he well, murdered yes. me as a dinosaur we just last moved time. In. We haven't even Killed had the me chance instantly. to see the whole house from the inside. They saw the house materialize from nothing. We need to go to play group now. Do you think that Peppa. you only exist because sure Peppa makes you exist? Very tired. They can go tomorrow. But today is International Day. They have to go. International what What's day? What's this about? It's the best day. International ever. what day? Madame Gazelle will teach us about the whole world. 
Oh, just all of what it. What do you think? Do you want to go with Pepper to the playgroup? I want to go to Venezuela. All right, then. Why don't you go with her for a while while we finish setting things up in the house? I'll be international day. Hey, hey Nicoletis, thank you very much for following, and I hope you enjoy your stay here. I hope you like my church windows. And Demi Crust, thank you for the two month resub. When I black out, all I can see is Peppa moving that train thing. We just have to cross this field to get to play I just got we here. Why am I? Are you making me go to school in the five seconds that I got here? Close to it. Actually, that's pretty accurate. You know what, actually, this is this is the true story of being an immigrant in the United States. You get there and somebody immediately drags your ass along somewhere else. Ah. You can get on and off the bike whenever you want. I want one of the parents to shove me off. Like they realize that I have to die, you know? Can you drift? I wish. Mmm, tinnitus. It's my favorite. Damn, Onigafuchi has really changed. Damn. This is the playroom. Here is where I meet all my friends. That looks like a church, too. You telling me something? Zebra! Ah, Why can't I play as a zebra? I see you have brought a friend. Yes, Madame Gazelle. Why can't you play yes, as a pig in this? Wouldn't Hello, like you know. Hello, 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 Hello. Hello. Come on, take a seat. It's a cold. We were just about it's a cold. There's punch. You know what day it's a cold. It today? International day. It's a cold. Today we will learn everything about. This is Harvester. Oh my God! This is Harvester. You're right. Um, some of them. Which ones? Some of what? Well, there's America, where they have America. very tall buildings, and they make a lot of films. Ooh! Ooh. But people really like croissants there. Croissants are the best. Croissants. In Germany, it can get very cold. But they drink hot chocolate to warm themselves. Just I Germany? Love hot chocolate. Just Germany? Me too. That's only a Italy German thing. Is warm and beautiful. Sometimes. And let's not forget Barcelona. Are we really skipping over Italy that fast? You don't want to say anything about I've Italy, do you? Been to the beach. Warm and beautiful. <laughs> it is pretty. Nice. I don't know about fucking oh. warm. You know where else they have great beaches? Australia. People there like to surf a lot. I want to go to all of these places. I want to go to New York. That's just a pizza. Hollywood, London, Paris. That's just a pizza. Barcelona, <laughs> that's, Italy, just, <laughs> that's just Germany, a pizza. And Australia. I love how far away that is. You're in luck. You can go to it's just all a pizza. Of these places with the cruise ship that has just arrived. That's in fucking town. dangerous. I this is a sure goddamn the cold. Parents will take you there if you ask. go to the Philippines. Hooray! Louis game. This is the best international day ever. Hooray! Am I okay? No. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Then the we're, we're... I love how so many of those are like really close together. And it just makes me laugh looking at it. What happens if I go this way instead? Oh, right, this is an open world game. Right. <laughs> you know what? You know what kind of it looks like? <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Stick of Truth, in a way. You know how you have, like, the one buddy who follows you around? It's, it's a lot- it's a lot different thematically. Can we go to Pizza Country? I, out of all the places you could have picked for Italy, out of all the places, you know, Rome, La Tire, uh, Venezia, fucking Catania. No, you, the fucking Leaning Tower of Pizza is a goddamn easy one. It literally has pizza in the name. You picked a literal fucking pizza. Let's go back home. I do live in a goddamn asylum. How do I get to the boat? Where's the alien probing scene? I don't think we should get the alien probing scene. I don't want to. I don't want there to be aliens in this game. Oh fuck. How do we escape? 
We have to process the simulation, then we can leave. Why does she look at me like that? Catania? Puerto Rico has a place called Catania. Oh. Ain't they gonna become any of these countries? I mean, yeah, I guess that counts. You have to murder Peppa, the only real person beside you to escape? Oh. oh. Back. How did it go? We want to go on the cruise ship! The cruise ship? Yes! This is also for four-year-olds. This is why Spyro Canada, exists. And to Italy, and to Germany! I'm not sure, Peppa. We don't have tickets. And our new friends are just tickets? getting settled into their new house. Wow, she Ahoy! speaks sense. Who could it be? Is this the new neighbor's house? Why are you well, all coming yes. here? And who might you be? Shouldn't you be monitoring I'm the Captain ship? Otter of the cruise ship. Hello, Captain Otter. We have to load in. Quite the big family you have here. Anyway, we did. I have come to invite you all. On this is just like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Us. Precisely. As the newest residents, you are invited to come with us on. Is that what the fuck that was supposed to be? An Hooray! otter? But How is that an otter? Look at the tail. I'm getting used to the house. And actually, we're not new. Well, I could go on a trip. Daddy Pig. The offer extends to everyone in this house. If you want to go on a trip, just take the car and come to the harbor. I will take you wherever you want to go. I'll meet you on board the ship. Goodbye. Uh, that seems right. That, that seems really dangerous to just send so, your kids. What do you think? I think we should go on a trip. We appreciate the offer, but we really can't go right now. But maybe... Would you like to go? Yes! Uh? All right then. Who's you we? You can go to the cruise ship with Pepper and Oh, the Mom, Dad is... Hooray! Dad is... Now, Sin Otter has invited you all to the cruise ship. Mummy and Daddy Pig will take you there in their car. A lot of Mom. exciting adventures await you. It's not your fault. She's gone. All that's here is the cock. <laughs> Wait, I can pet it. <laughs> Aw. That's a little depressing, actually. Hello. I'm happy to see you two around here. Do you want to try flying my toy aeroplane? Can yes, just please. Stand here. here. Take the controller. The, the last time I did this, in the last game, I crashed the game because of this. Control. It's one button. It up and down and make it go faster. Yeah. Oh my God! There's more than one button in this game. Holy shit! Last time I played this, I actually broke it. I, I genuinely broke this game. I don't even know you could, how you could do that, but I did it. I managed it. Can this thing crash? It has a limited fly range. It cannot crash. Nice. There's a jump button. in my left ear. I don't like that. Tim has directional volume? What? Really? Where'd that car come from? Oh. Peppa's house. It needs that, like, Dark Souls sound, you know what I mean? When you get into a new area, like in Dark Souls 2. Hey. Hello. It's always nice to see you. Yeah? See, look! They have four jackets for... Yeah, all four of them. We have three. That's fucked up, yo. Come and sit at the chair if you want to help with the pie. Yeah, okay. I fucked up. Look who's here. Are you two having fun? 
Yes, Mummy. What are you doing? I'm making raspberry pie. Yummy. Do you want to help? Great. I'm pretty sure Peppa Loaf's mouth is markered on. All these raspberries. Do you think you can do Did that? Did this happen in the first game too? Am I getting some weird deja vu? To squish the raspberries for her raspberry pie. Or somebody Try to squish my raspberries as fast as you can. Because I have arthritis, it's not good for my hands. Excellent. Now let's finish the pie. Ready? Who would like Fuck. a piece? Me, me, me. Temporal oven. Temporal oven. Enjoy. Let's <laughs> say the pie's in a bowl. It's a cult. Okay. Wonder how well this game sold. Wonder if this game does sell well. Mm-hmm. Yeah? The first one definitely sold well? Did it. What the fuck is that painting? Looks like a crow that got hit with two shoes at the same time, going at different speeds. This game is like $50. This game is not- Roxy did not send me a $50 game. This is not $50. The fuck it is. I have lots of toys there. Holy shit. It's $40. The first game was also $40! <laughs> you can play with them if you want. Okay. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Why do they have teeth like that? He has like fucked up teeth, man. What is that? I really hate the teeth. Look at him. Why are they like individually? Why don't we check on Goldie? She's in the living room. I think I did. Remember when he manifested the teeth in dinosaur mode? I do now. What do you want? Are we going on a trip soon? Oh, he just decided to walk in, huh? Let me just hop into a stranger's vehicle. I've known them for five yes. seconds. My mom is sending me to hell. Going on an adventure. I love adventures. Is it going to be scary? Yes. Not at all. It's going absolutely, to be my child. Fun. We're all going to Hooray! die. Hey! But where are we going? I say we go to Paris, the most beautiful city. Is it going to be scary? Oh, no, we're going to go to a place that has no conflict. To the beach in Paris. And I want to go to America. Sweetie, no you don't. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we let our new neighbors decide? Great idea, Mummy Pig. Let's go to the port for now, and you can tell Captain Otter where you want to go. Yeah, let's go to places that don't involve any conflict whatsoever and are definitely not scary. New York City and Paris. It's gonna go great. The harbor. The harbor. What? Just don't say it after me. <laughs> Uh huh. Ahoy there! And there's Captain Otter. Bonfire lit. I see you decided to come on a trip after all, and you brought your friend. We're going to go on a trip all around the world. I'm scared to see what You're stereotypes not, they have. Because my ship can take you anywhere you want to go. Can it? Take but I'm also us excited. Space? No, anywhere except space. Thank God. Actually. I'm anywhere safe. on this board. I'm safe. Oh, how exciting. There are lots of different places to visit. I thought oh, she said shit. I can't choose. They all look so great. Where would you like to go first? Fuck, ready, man, I don't know. Go to the board and choose the place you'd like to visit first. Which one of these is supposed to be... Italy? It... Here are all the different places that you can visit. Wait. I recommend going to New York first. 
This is New York. Wait, Germany has some wonderful Christmas markets in Barcelona. Why is the photo in Germany not in the frame? What's up with that? Australia is very far away and very hot. You can go here to visit the Great Barrier Reef. London is our capital city. If you visit London, you might just see the Queen. <laughs> I don't think we can anymore. Italy. Go here and make your own pizza for scrumptious lunch. I mean, yeah, I guess you could do that in Italy. This is Paris. <laughs> this is Paris. Retract. Retract. Yeah, okay, I'll play in the canon order. Hey, Captain Boo, thank you for the seven month resub. Are you sure you want to go here? Or would you like to choose somewhere else? I want to go to the United States first. I want to see the comparison. Uh, Are you sure you want to go here? Or would you like to choose somewhere else? I appreciate you asked me twice when I said I wanted to go to the United States. Great choice. It looks very nice. Right. All aboard, everyone. All aboard. All aboard. Yeah, I don't get Germany and Italy's representations. Are we all ready to set sail? We're ready. Then let's fire up the engines. Let's rev up those fryers. Holy the shit. we go. Yo, they're just taking that with nobody else on it? That thing's fucking huge. That's got to be expensive, right? That's huge. All aboard. New York. One of the stabbing capitals of the world. Jesus! Hello, and welcome to New York. <laughs> are you Miss Rabbit? Bitch. Sure. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. Is that right? Oh. -ho. I can give you a tour around the city if you want. That sounds lovely. Thank you. Boston accent. It's an American accent. Hop in when you're ready. Miss Rabbit will be the tour guide for the trip. But first, grab your suitcase and take it to the car. I don't think I have a choice. Oh, I do! Branching narrative. Love that she doesn't sound that polite either. Saying British sound polite. Am I not putting in my bags? Oh, we're just making him do it. Oh, never mind, he's a unit. Everyone ready? Yes, we are, Miss Rabbit. Get in the car first. And let's go. Next stop, the New York skyscraper. Just the one? New York. The city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, I do, but only at night. <coughs> How long will it take us to arrive? This street is very busy. Don't Get worry. the banana. I'm sure let's... we'll find our way through. But are we going to do that? Violence. We can take other lanes with fewer cars. We'll be there in no time. You'll see. Could you take a look and show me the way? Miss Rabbit oh. needs your help to get through the traffic. That's a good you sign of danger. The car to change to a different lane. Oh my god, you could end up in a car accident. No, they don't let you freely control it. No! Fine. The asking a child to help her drive as a taxi driver. Man, I love how like nice and organized everyone is in New York traffic. I love how everyone is waiting for me to turn over to the left and right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a perfect representation of driving in the United States. Where's the road rage button? Yeah, when can I start, like, saying every horrible word under the sun at the press of a button? Get in the car! Pretty sure I passed that donut shop already. I see it again. Actually, you know what? That's pretty accurate. There's also a huge like people on bicycles zooming and zipping around between cars. That's true. This is already not a very good representation of why is almost everybody in a convertible? <laughs> so many people are in convertibles. Oh my god. We passed the same donut store twice. Only twice. These British ass car shapes. British ass. We 
got here much quicker than I expected. We didn't die. This is the famous New York skyscraper. Ooh. 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 I have never seen a building this tall. <laughs> Can we go to the top? <laughs> She's Peppa sure. Pig. Let's get inside and take the elevator. So, okay, you know, I've actually never been to New York. Is there just like the skyscraper? I thought they were all skyscrapers. Let's go up to the top floor. Oh, okay. All the jobs, Miss Rabbit. Only the important ones. Now, let's get to the very top of the building. There's something deep there. Help me out one more time. Okay. Use the button at the side of the elevator. Every fucking button. Every fucking button. Fast as you can. Really? Wow, we really are doing that, huh? No matter how fast you push it, I don't think it matters, actually. I got an achievement. Reach the top of the building. You can see the whole city from here. Ooh. Ooh. We are so high in the sky. We're scraping it. Uh, oh, oh, what can't look. With this telescope, you can There's see so even more. See. The views from the top of the New York skyscraper are fantastic. Walk up to the telescope and use it to take a look. It looks like it's looking back at me, and if I get anywhere near it, it's going to bite my lips off. Everything looks bigger through the telescope. Try moving it around and see what you can find. I can only move it left and right. It's the top of that building. I can only move it left and right. Daddy, I'm long. That's a single tree! Actually, that's Central Park. There's uh. a very old castle in it, too. Can you see it? Sure. There's a castle in Central Park? No, I don't want to know. Clearly. The British don't have trees. It makes sense. They just have tea. That's a very low bridge. That is the Brooklyn Bridge. It used to be the longest bridge in the world. Wait, if we're in the United States and we're in New York, why aren't we at, you know, the monument? Why aren't we at, um, uh, the Statue of Liberty, actually? Hold on. Why, why am I not at the Statue of Liberty? Why am I in a fucking skyscraper, huh? That's the sun. The longer you stare at it, the longer you run. Why is she well, looking at me like that's that? That's the Statue of Liberty. It's the most famous landmark in the city. I don't think she's I on like love a little. New York. Where are we going now? I love New York. I'm afraid we don't have time for more, Peppa. Captain Otter is waiting for we us. We gotta get to Germany ship. in two fucking oh. minutes. Can I come back soon, please? No. Of course, Peppa. What do you mean, of but course? But there are lots of other countries to visit. This was a very nice tour. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'd be happy We're to going to get to Germany in about longer. two minutes, Peppa. This They're going to annex this place as soon as we get out of here in the Dinosaur. sky glasses. I don't think there are any dinosaurs, though. <laughs> well done. You helped. Please don't fall over on top of a skyscraper. Please don't roll around on top of a skyscraper. Great adventure. Everyone's having a stroke. I think we're all seeing the flashing lights. Why'd they all die? We all saw the flashing lights. Wait, so I'm getting back in the car and going back. Get me back to the fucking thing. Home, sweet home. I don't want to go back to your home. I don't want your linear narrative. Take me back to Germany. Everyone, hop in the car. We're going to the port. You think people speed run this? We can't afford more trips. No, we go on every single trip on the board. Bonfire lit. Ahoy there. Back again for another trip? We are indeed, Captain Otter. Jolly good. You know, the worst part is the graphics of this game are very good if you think about it. I don't 
It looks just like the show. Why don't you have another look at the board to see which place you'd like to visit next? Oh man, there's no like rust covering the things that have been annexed by Peppa Pig's god after she found that she was done with that country. There's no like, I don't know, rust smears on the United States. All right. No clear mark. This is New York. Oh, there is! Germany has some wonderful Christmas in Barcelona. In Germany, there is in Barcelona, there is. Hey, it's Norse. It's not much, but hope it helps you through these trying times. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Are you sure you want to go here? Or would you like to choose somewhere else? Germans. All Germans in the chat. Do you all just have one giant Ferris wheel? Great choice. It looks very nice. Right. All aboard, everyone. All aboard. All aboard. If you want to show your support for for Yin suffering from Peppa Pig German adventure, Are you ready to set sail? we have a plushie. Ready. <laughs> then let's fire up the engines. Famous for Ferris wheel and nothing else. You know, I was like half expecting a giant sausage. Lederhosen? Lederhosen while eating so I don't know much about Germany, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> All I know is, uh, uh, electric music. It's winter! It's winter! Germany! Germany! I think for the hundred bits book. Welcome to oh, Germany! Lederhosen. My name is Clemens Cow. And this is my mummy. Hello, sir. I'm Frau Cow. <laughs> Hello. I'm Peppa Pig. They took my hat. This is my How'd get my horns in there? Berlin is the home of techno and crazy nightclubs. Yo. Of course. Hey, thank the 50 bits, Vivian. Peppa Pig crashed my Twitch tab. I'm sorry, folks. Thank you. There are plenty of things to do here. We have a huge Christmas tree in the middle. You have to go see it. Oh, it's a little chilly, though. Is there somewhere we can warm up a bit? Do sure. Germans just celebrate Christmas you year round? my stall if you want to drink some hot chocolate. There's also a train that goes to the theme park. You just need to keep walking this in this way. <laughs> I was about to say, can I get, can I get course, Peppa. fucking shit face at a gay shop? Berlin nightclub? Okay. I want the German Let's experience. <laughs> they were the most stereotypical. Oh my god, their voice cut out. Can't you believe it, guys? Christmas, just a week away. Wow, I am so happy for this information. I can't even get any peppermint candies at the stall. What hell is this? Is that my mom? The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the first thing the Brit does when she comes to Germany. It's a bit boring, isn't it? We should colonize this tree. <laughs> Fuck. I need decorations. I'll need decorations for the tree. It's a bit boring, isn't it? We should give it to the British Museum. Wow. Almost there. How am I reaching these locations? By boat. A very fast boat. I will long song. <laughs> Germany is landlocked. How did the boat get here? <laughs> they just drove right through all of Western Europe. 
cow. I didn't know Germany was so cold. I like the idea of them just just sliding right through Spain, destroying everything on its way. I, I, th I like the idea better of them thinking it's landlocked. Chocolate and pour all of it into the pot. Why don't you try it yourself? It's time to prepare hot chocolate. I say it like that, brave. Oh, I don't know. Keep pouring what's in it into the pot until it's. Wait empty. a second. Is that milk organic? It's fresh, my dear. I'm hitting the A button, but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nothing's coming out. I'm so thirsty. How thirsty. <laughs> Europe is really fucking cold in the winter, can't confirm. Yeah. I think that's enough. You did a great job. Enjoy. Hey, Big Bad Wolf for life. Thank you for following. I I I watched your stream a few I watch your stream every now and then. Please don't think this is the example of me. See you soon, you two. When is clock tower? I have it set to clock tower so nobody <laughs> So I don't have a kid come in being like is this Peppa Pig? To burn the hot chocolate. Wow! <laughs> this train is brilliant! Can't hide your shame. Oh. It will take us to the theme park. Don't talk Let's to me. Let's jump on! We need to stop for the kids who are waiting to get on the train. Would you like Ooh. to help pick them up? Okay. No, not really. It's time to go to the theme park. Make Yo, why'd the, the narrator turn to a goat? On its rails. Help the engineer this is the worst fucking German accent. Hey, good evening! I, I swear I play horror games. Usually. Yo, that train would make me sick. Oh no! Let's go back to pick them oh, up. Oh no! Huh? Sorry. That's really funny. Oh, I have to stop. Okay. This German accent is powerful. It's flying Peppa Pig, is it, eh? I. Wait, we should stop fast. I was kidding. You think I joke? You think just because I'm a hyena, I'm all haha, <laughs> nice joke, man? Nah, nah, we're just sending straight into hell. Ugh. No, little German boy, do not go into the weed cave. Ugh. This cave is full of blood okay. smoke! Or is the train going anyway? Nah, I, I'm not sure. Did you pick this game or did the loaf? Roxy did. That was so much fun! You can come back to take the train anytime you want. The theme park is this way. Follow Does me. the train have anything to do with Germany? You know, as somebody from Italy, I know nothing of Germany or its history. What's this? Big tower. Germans love their trains. Is that a real thing? Wow! Look at this slide! I mean, laughing they're under duress, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna sl that's gonna rip the skin off your ass. That's gonna rip the skin off your ass. Don't do it. Oh, oh, I can hear like the sliding sound. You know what I mean? Oh, that would kill you. 
You look a little oof. Listen. Yeah, Peppa Pig is seven foot tall. This is true. Who is Roxy? Roxy is a very good, very good being of, of the robotic variety. And I'm playing this for her birthday. <laughs> She might be passed out right now, but I'm gonna send her the bud. What well, all these toys do in here? Why are they just bouncing, actually? They usually give you a towel so you're not going down bare ass down the metal slide. Bandit Asgard, hey! Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Knoll Patrol. Do you want to go on the Ferris wheel too? I drank too much monster, yes, I think I'm yes. sick. doing down there? I love you dancing. It sounds like he's dancing in the snow, doesn't it? <laughs> We're so high! We're so high! <laughs> We're so high. Hey, Winter the Fluff, thank you for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I have very, very weak humor. Okay. We smoke the blunts! The dank loudness! Pretty sure there's balancing issues on that wheel. Don't think about it. Hey. It's cheaper to mail a kid across USA than to buy them a train ticket. Nice. Look! I think some toys have escaped from the stall. Are you sure? That's impossible! There! There! That's terrifying, Seven. We have to find them. No! They can't have gone very far. That's not in the we subtitles. We are good at finding things. No. The toys have escaped. Take a look around the But are Alex different? Bring them back to this the is store. hard mode. Let's go and survive. when you play too many Resident Evil randomizers. Yeah. Yes, you can't make your own Peppa Pig person. Does she gain on you? Oh. I wonder if they have steak in Peppa Pig. I have no... Oh, she does. She, she's faster. This is my second Peppa Sona. Surprise won't let me import the first one. Damn rubber banding AI. <laughs> You've been too desensitized to horror, so we need something else to terrify you. Ah, uh, okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh! Speed passive. It's because I'm weighed down by this thing I'm holding. Oh, where am I? Uh, 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 uh. Hello? Function? Thank you. The avatar was a little green. Green. My colorblind. Thank you for the help. I knew I could count on you. Don't, get Don't run, Rakunda. <laughs> Peppa must have four eyes. Peppa does have four eyes. Everything, every being in this world. It's getting a bit late. We can't stay any longer, or it will get too cold. Uh -huh. We've had so much fun. <laughs> You have to come back and visit us again. No. No. It's been a pleasure having you here today. I want to ride the train every day to go to play group. The pepper trains need tracks to run. Why'd she get so quiet? It does exactly that. Oh, my ears. Oh, oh. So do we all just seizure out at the end every time? The German laughing really sticks out. Go back home and warm up. Computer would explode if RTX was on this. Hey, did you know this has graphic settings? I don't know what low looks like, but I'm scared. Home sweet home. 
was else? Uh, why was it Christmas? It's always Christmas in Germany, I guess. Everyone, hop in the car. We're going to the port. Teaching children that cars are better than trains. Yeah, sure. I think it's because we don't have train tracks that go down the hill and up into the other hill. <laughs> it's because we don't have train tracks for our house. The harbor. The harbor. Ahoy there! Back again for another trip. We are indeed, Captain Otter. Jolly good. You've seen me three times today. Time, Papa. Hmm. I don't know. Why don't you have another look at the board to see which place you'd like to visit next? You know, you think about it, it's kind of like Mega Man. Oh lord. This is New York. Germany has some in Barcelona. You can play football on the beach by the sea. Wow, that sounds lovely. Are you sure you want to go here? I want the dad to stub his toe and go fucking hell. Great chops. Do you think the otter just fucking maroons them when they go somewhere else? All when they go aboard. elsewhere? Absolutely. Kills them instantly. Peppa versus Bluey Deathmatch. Are we all ready to set sail? We're ready. Then let's fire up the Cab woman and lay their hose in man. What weapons do they give? And away we go. A hamburger? And lay their hose in. Cause you know it's later hosen man, what else the fuck would they give you? Barcelona! Barcelona! I guess Barcelona became independent, I guess. Here we are in Barcelona. Oh look, it's Senor Cat and Carla Cat. Who? Hello Carla! Do I know these people? Hola Pepa! Is this Hello, a deep everyone? cut? Welcome to the incredible city of Barcelona. This is a deep cut, right? It's really beautiful. We can't wait to have a good explore. But well, don't spoil. Don't around? say anything, Baxter. There is so much to Not do there and yet. see. We can play football on the beach. I don't want any Peppa Pig and spoilers. skateboarding there. That sounds so exciting. It is. But first, let's explore where we are now. Les Rambles. Cries in Spanish. Why don't you get some flowers or a windmill from the market store? As a show, Bluey wins by default in a cage match. Peppa would pull a shank on Bluey and ended him one step. Peppa would kill Bluey. Pe Peppa is like, what, seven foot tall? I, I have no doubts in my mind. She would pull out a shank. What? Oh, pinwheels. Wow. Why don't you try blowing a windmill and a windmill. see if it speaks? Sorry. You can blow the windmill. The more you hold, the more you blow. Is the it not a pinwheel or am I going go. crazy? Wow! Relevant video. That's super spinny! Wow, I have lungs. You blew the windmill very well. Can we all like the Dark Don't Souls boss? This is like Dark Souls. Whatever Why we want. give a little little area introduction every time? Papa gave up her soul a long time ago so she could maintain full control of her world. Hmm. Okay, you know what? If Peppa Pig is so powerful, Bluey should at least get an assist from another children's show like flowers. Barney or something. Why don't we make a bunch for Did you lose Barney? a dare? No, I made a promise for her birthday. Let's put some colorful flowers in it. Okay. You can find different types of flowers along the street. I don't know anything about Barcelona. Get in front of a How store convenient that everyone's speaking English, to right? To the bouquet. To be fair, it's like tourist spotty. Oh, take. Okay. Here I go taking everything again. Did she just pay her? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. I guess I'll take this. Caillou tag team. Caillou's pretty powerful, that is true. I'm like not even taking the ones from the sides, I'm just taking all the ones from the... Is that the fox attempt? Mommy, mommy! We made this for you! We stole these! Oh, how lovely! A bouquet of flowers and such beautiful colors. Don't pick the street Thank flowers. You. I mean, she is paying them. 
There is a little animation where she pays them by throwing a little coin on their desk. I appreciate that. The concept of death is in Bluey. So that means Bluey can kill. But I don't know if Bluey could kill. Pretty sure Peppa still holds that, that ability. That's a really brilliant Did I just steal the whole fucking pot? I am- I really you am taking this to the British Museum. Oh, Ooh. shit. Look! Senior Cat was right! This building is amazing! Let's go inside! It's- it's- she's just so loud. Tactfully acquired. <laughs> this is mine now. God. I love the little information Whoa. icon on the kiosk. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay. What was, what was it? Uh, I don't put Peppa on when I babysit my niece. Peppa is kind of sassy. I put Bluey or Mickey Mouse on during TV time. Yeah? Is Peppa like, uh, kind of like Caillou tier then? I am walking up to a boss. It's so big! There are lots of colorful shapes on the floor. The colorful light is created by special windows called stained glass windows. All Pip has to do is undo Bluey's side. safety vest and she'll fly off into I'll space. See the shapes <laughs> and you have to find them. Okay. It doesn't even seem to attempt to be educational. Yes! I spy with my little eye a green square. I didn't do it in time. She's going to eat my f Hooray! flesh. Hooray! found all the shapes. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Look, there's like a random rabbit lady here, but she doesn't do anything. I can't go anywhere else. Uh, is this all you do in Barcelona? I thought we were going to play, you know, you know, football by the beach. How can she see those windows? Both of her eyes are on the other side of her head. Well, the ones on the, on the right side right now are looking at him. She has four eyes. Two on one side, two on Why the other. Why don't we go to the beach? There's I an episode of Peppa... Hold on. Day. There's an episode of Peppa Pig where she calls a friend saying she has problems whistling. And her friend whistles effortlessly and without saying anything, Peppa hangs up on her. <laughs> that sounds really funny, actually. No, oh, got Sans at the end of that hallway. Oh, shit. Oh, man. The creature in the Peppa Pig universe is an apex predator with four eyes. I, you know, I believe it. I believe it. What a sunny day. I think it's a perfect. We're playing football by the now, beach. One of the most fun activities you can do on the beach in Barcelona is play football. Wow. Mommy, Daddy, can we play football? Oh, Let us just watch you walk away as if daring your hubris for turning your back to the Peppa. Duh. When I was a little piggy. Automat doesn't like you saying four eyes. That's really funny. That's that's such a grade luck, school Daddy insult. Pig. What are you doing over there, four eyes? Like I think George wants to play too. I say with glasses Hooray! on. Hey, it's me, you, and George against Daddy. That's fucked up. Let's play some football. That's fuck. That's really See fucked if up. If you can score against Daddy Pig, run to the ball and shoot at the goal. I hope Dad just fucking masatsu's me. On the spot. Go for the goal. I thought she was about to kick it. Blood! Damn. You did it. There you will be goal. blood shed if all the people. I'm doing it again. 
There was no effort, none. Woohoo! You've got this! Oh sh- Oh shit! Motherfucker! Go for the gold! Whoopsie! Oh Goal! shit, face too. Well played! You're a natural! Maybe one day you could be a pro! Ho ho ho! That was a lot of fun, but I think it's time for us to head off. Aww. I know we shot two goals, but it's time yes, to leave Barcelona. We've got lots more places to see on our worldwide adventure. Well, thank you so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed our wonderful city. I loved Barcelona, and we loved showing you around. I love Barcelona. You visit whenever you want. It thank was you, so much Cat. fun to we visit. Will. And maybe then I'll have learned how to skateboard too. Ho 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 don't fall over. Uh, I really hate that they do that. It's like really creepy. Especially when they're like bodies like like a half egg, you know what I mean? Like it's like they hatch and that's just what's left. Like that's just the inside of the egg. It's their legs. I'm stressing I'm sweet Okay. I thought that dad would just grab the ball and just drill Peppa in the face, teach a hard lesson. Like, like the moment he gets it, grabs it, as I am undefeatable. I I'm, I'm hanging to on time. to the other side, just fucking slamming her into the sand. Uh, Bandit would do that. I, I watched one episode of Bluey. It, it made me sad. <laughs> It made my heart go do the do the doki doki. I was very sad. It was very heartwarming. Fuck. The only oh, episode yeah. I watched was the one that was Back um for another trip. Uh, the, the one where Bluey meets Joey, a friend who speaks French. This time, Peppa. And then does like a time skip. <laughs> that fucked with me. Why don't you have another look at the board? To see that was the only one I watched. Like with the tree, yeah, with the tree, with the tree that that grows. And it does a time skip and like Bluey is like much older. That that was that was like actually <laughs> that like smashed me in the face. I was so caught off guard. This is New York, Germany. This is New York. London, this is Barcelona, Germany. In Barcelona. Australia. Australia. Are you sure you want a great choice? It looks very nice. Right. All aboard, everyone. All aboard. Da, 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 All da. aboard. Da. Yeah, Dana gets ready to foam at the mouth. Yeah, that's me. Are we all ready to set sail? We're ready. Then let's fire up the engines. And away we go. Made the made the two edits we needed. Two edits. Two edits we needed. The little snowman arms. All. Snowman arms. Hey, Flea Guts, thank you for following. Welcome to the Old Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay. Australia? <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. I have to, I have to, I have to save and fucking, <laughs> hold on. Brave just sent me this. How is that so fucking loud? Let's pay a visit to the kangaroo factory. Australia! What, what was what was the what was the second the update? Big, what a surprise! <laughs> play, I'm afraid to play that one. I'm afraid to play that one too. It's Italy, but it's I'm afraid to play it. I don't want it to be really loud again. Do it. Turn down your volume, please. Please turn down your volume. <laughs> Oh god, did it did it even save? Did it even save? 
Gold. I'm sorry, I thought they'd come out quieter. That's not your fault. That's just OBS. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Kylie, look who's come to visit. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Hello, George. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> I know how to freeze it. We were just passing by and thought Hello, Peppa. Hello. Hello. Well, why don't we show you around some of our George. favorite places? Yes, yes! We could drive the minivan to the beach and visit the Great Barrier Reef. Or we could fly the plane to the outback for a very special picnic. There's so much to see in Australia. Which one would you like to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about I love my little... little lame fucking sun hat going on. Uh. <sighs> All right, into the plane. All righty then. We'll take the plane to the outback for a picnic. All aboard! The, 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 the didgeridoo. Sun had a straight drip. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Everybody ready? No. Yes. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> It's time to fly. go away intrusive thoughts 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 Oh, I'm cleaning my glasses. Why don't you try going faster? go up and down. Get the fuck off my case while I clean my glasses asshole No seat belts god or make the plane go up and down. Oh, yo, this does kind of like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It looks like Joseph. Although the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Lying in an aeroplane There's on music. a sunny day. There's music. Wait, no, wait, wait, no, I might get copyright. Wait, 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 I might get copyright for this. Uh, the fucking, oh, I'm, oh, wait, hold on, no, I don't, I'm scared. No, 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 no. Wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of that. I might get, I might get copyright by Peppa, Peppa fucking pig. Uh, f uh, what, what, what music do I, what music do I have on, on the, on the side right now? Uh, uh, there, there, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, all right, I'm safe. Won't you get hit for this song? No, you won't get hit for that song. <laughs> that song's not copyright. Well, I mean it is, but you're not going to get hit this for it. This is my boomerang. It comes back when you throw it. Give it a go. Hold the boomerang for a moment, then throw it. The longer you hold it, the further it will go. Let's try playing cricket! Shut! I'm playing Bumo Ang! Oh shit. That's a good fucking throw! Oh my god! 
That's a really good fucking throw. You got that that accurate? Damn! You've got a little bit of delay. That's that's room for DPS. Holy shit. How about being a professional boomerang thrower instead? Maybe she moved to Australia. That's, that's good shit. Shut up, Peppa. Here, you take the bat and I'll throw the ball. Good luck. Lift up the bat. We're all sitting here enjoying, it, like, you know, Australia and stuff. She's like, we ball. should play quit it. Huh? Oh, that was just a cutscene. Okay. The ball has landed in a tree. Can you see the ball, Pepper? A teddy bear has got it. That's not a teddy bear. It's a koala bear. Hooray! Don't get we close to it. One. Squeak! Those things are fucking mean. Radio, everyone. Lunch is ready. Lunch is ready, everyone. Come forth and gather round. Mama Pig's hunt is done. Mama Kangaroo, whatever you are. That baby's really close to that grill and that thing is sizzling. <laughs> Who wants Where'd the baby go? Oh. Mmm. What a yummy, scrummy picnic. When we have a picnic, am I okay? Mrs. No. Duck always comes. <laughs> There's no chance of Mrs. Duck showing up in the middle of the desert. Oh. Oh, oh. Mrs. Duckbill Platypus always shows up when we're having picnics. Corn on the cob. For Is this it. like a deep lore cut joke I'm supposed to get? Like, oh no, the duck showed up when we're eating corn. How's the pepper? She's eating so fucking fast! That was delicious. Mrs. Duck Build Platypus thinks so too. Wow. Okay, everyone. It's home time. Back on the plane. Don't do it. Don't do it again. Okay, my hand was on the trigger. Make a parry the platypus noise. I've never seen that show. So it's like one episode, isn't it? Like, I eh. love the outback. Um, what is it again? You dense. <laughs> <laughs> the way the laughter just cuts out. I I learned nothing about your country or your culture. How about we go to the beach? <laughs> I'll drive the minivan. Okay. All right, everyone, into the minivan. We're going to see something amazing. We're losing brain cells here? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Don't sing again. The beach is just up ahead. Drive the minivan to move forward. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to do, they're, they're going to do the, they're going to do the thing again. The. Okay. Okay, it's it's all good. I'm gonna do the thing again, huh? Sorry, I set the clock tower so I could hide. Don't sing. Nah, man, I wanted an excuse to play hot wind blowing. across the sand That's just like cool, the buffalo everyone ain't nothing awesome. there's incredible wildlife on the seabed and it's my job to take care of it doing grateful shit <laughs> oh when you're ready hop inside the submarine and we'll explore the ocean okay whatever you say hop in Oh wait, this is Is this in bad taste? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Wow. It's all the colors of the rainbow. 
That's called the Great Barrier Reef. It's made up of coral that goes for miles and miles. It's <laughs> up to me to keep it safe. Can we take some coral biting home my tongue, with us? Biting my tongue. Sorry, biting Pepper. My tongue, biting we can my tongue. look, but we mustn't touch. The submarine can move in any direction you want. Why don't you try driving it? Yeah, sure. If you find something interesting, you can pick it up with the grabbing claws. I'll just drive it with this controller I'm holding and nothing else. Wait, we're going to steal things from the reef? I'm sorry? Wait, you can't do that. Wait, hold on. You can't just take things out of the Great Barrier Reef. Is that... Oh, that, that's a fucking... They're British. Oh, shit, you're right. Wait, that's illegal. That's a treasure chest. Huh? A treasure chest! Oh, okay. Full of gold coins. Let's see if we can pick it up with the claws. But mm -hmm. you said we shouldn't touch anything. We meant you mustn't touch anything that belongs here. Like the treasure but chest? Gold coins don't belong in the ocean. And we that's can still use thievery. them to pay for lots more marine research. Grave like that's not how marine biology... Oh, okay, um, I, 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 I think you should probably give that back we to the... We got the treasure! Maybe Hooray! not to the British Museum, I... Now, let's get it back to the minivan. I committed a crime. <laughs> it's just keeping it? Water in the submarine. I'm sure you do. And we learnt so much about the importance of keeping <laughs> coral safe. I'm glad you all had fun. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Oh, my, my. <sighs> I'm afraid we need to carry on with our trip. Ah, oh, so soon? I'm afraid so. Lots to see. But thank you so much for showing us around. I had a brilliant time! Is that the way to describe Come it? back soon! You okay, Ian? Yep. Mummy, <clears throat> can we have a great berry reef in our garden? Oh, I don't think so, Peppa. We don't have our own submarine. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I go to London already? <laughs> You've learned many things about Australia and found a lost treasure. It's been lots of fun. <laughs> okay. Pitbull's house. Still gonna report that shit? Pretty sure she she basically did a whole like, don't tell anybody about the things you saw here today. I think it's time for another trip. I'm Is curious it? to see what you will choose this time. Oh, uh, it's time for another trip. Good jolly old. Wait, why are we taking a boat to London if we live in Britain? again for another trip we are indeed captain otter jolly good where should we go this time peppa hmm. I, I want to go that. take whales why don't you have another look at the board to see which place you'd like to visit next okay just oh oh and i'm going do we keep safely secure the shore board? canada canadia Wow, I'm finally over halfway this there. Is New York, Germany has some in Barcelona, Australia, London is our capital city. If you visit London, you might just see the Queen. Yeah, and I think it's a little too late for that. Are you sure you want to go here? <laughs> or would you like to choose? Great choice. It looks very nice. Right, all aboard. Can't we just like take a bus oh, there? Like, why do we have to get on a boat oh, for this oh, one? Huh? Pretty sure we can just um, take a take a trip instead. Are we all ready to set sail? We're ready. Then let's fire up the Charles, engines. Charles, my beloved. I want to see them get the seizures up. <laughs> no, don't say that. 
Opening that sound like a Final Fantasy VII note for a second, like dun 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 dun. Yeah, da 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 da. That pepper is Buckingham. How old is this game this year? It's where the Queen lives. The Queen? I want to meet the Queen. How do we break it to her? Well, she might be quite busy. That's a way to word it. Being the Queen. Yeah. But I suppose we could always ring the doorbell and see. I don't think that's how that oh, works. Dear, Mommy Pig. Where's the doorbell? You're the only one with glasses. Your eyesight should be better than theirs. There it is. Shall we give it a ring? Go over it's to God the doorbell. It's God, God save the quick king, I guess now, huh? <laughs> oh God. Hello. Was that supposed to be the? Is that my pizza delivery? Just slide it through the gate. And Old the Queen. The Corgis. The Queen thinks the pig family are there to deliver a pizza. Yo, I watched a Corgi movie once. It was like Donald Trump we visited the, the Queen family. and he was all like, You always look like burgers. Pig. pig and George. The pig family? I oh, love burgers. I'm Donald. I don't know how to do Donald Trump impression. I'm sorry. <laughs> all I know is he talks kind of weird. Much. Which seems to be a staple of most of the presidents now I think about it. It's accurate. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that was funny to me. Hi, Queen. It's a little fucked up if you think about it. Why is she human, actually? everyone. What a pleasure it is to meet you. You are all most welcome here in my humble palace. Is royalty human? is all ours. Your royal So they just let you walk in? You have a wonderful home. Thank you, Mr. Pig. It's a wonderful home in a wonderful city. Here, why don't I show you? Yeah, why not make her a corgi? Yes, actually, yes. that does make sense. Why Marvelous. not make her a corgi? When you're ready, we'll go outside and go on a grand tour of. Oh. Home. Probably don't want to make her an animal for respect. I mean, wouldn't it be more flattering if they came up with a creative animal, anyways? Pip pip tally ho! Do they actually home. say that over there? Genuine question. British people, assemble. Do they say that? Pip, pip, tally ho. Why don't you go upstairs so you can get Lethally the British. Yes, ma'am. The Queen driving a double-decker bus. <laughs> oh. I'm British. They don't. Oh. Are we already up there? Yes! Then let's go. Spot a tea. Yeah, I, I, I do want to try tea in Britain. I wonder if it's good. Hurrah! <sighs> <sighs> Should have made the queen of bourgeois. A bourgeois every time she turns they have to duck. <laughs> big Ben is up there. Yes, Big Ben is a big town. My little body Betty. It's not. Big Ben is the name of the bell that lives inside the tower. Oh, yes. Margaret Thatcher's grave. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. in it. Let's answer him by ringing our own bell. Uh, is Each that... time Big Ben rings, the Queen can ring back. Is that something she does? Oh, 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 she flickered. Anyone else? Is this what you did to Ben? I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing Peppa Pig the Queen quick time. What happens if I just wait? How about suggesting the Queen ring the bell? <laughs> well done. Wait, it was you supposed to only be three times. Job ringing right? The bell. Where are we off to Is this supposed to be only three times? Why was it four? Going to Tower <gasps> this is Clock Tower! You're right! See, I'm not wrong. Full bong, in it? Uh. This is Tower Bridge. Jeez, she drove so fast. Holy shit. Yes, the queen's fucking but we need crazy. To wait for the ships to pass through first. I think that ship's a bit too tall to pass under the bridge. If you get the but bad ending, the queen is. dies. We need to lift up the bridge so the, good the ending. ship can pass. Can any of you up there help us? Me, me, me! To lift the bridge takes a little while. Keep going until it reaches the top. Why am I lifting the bridge? 
Holy shit, it's moving. Holy shit, it's moving if I mash. A fucking galleon? Isn't this child labor? Yeah. But it's fun child labor. All this does enforce force that everybody in the world with a royalty or not has to bend to the will of the eldritch entity that is Peppa. I know it says hold. Why is the signal still green? Because <laughs> I want you to drive off. Huzzah! Huzzah! the way to the top. Now the ship can pass through. Your Majesty, there's another ship on the way. Oh no. Oh, so there it is. Well, we really must be getting on with the tour, I'm afraid. We can't sit around waiting for ships all day. Uh, 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 it's not down. Okay. Oh my fucking god. We're stuck. Hmm. We are stuck. I know. Everyone move to the front of the bus. <laughs> Move towards the front like a of the bus to help it onto the other side yeah, of the bridge. <laughs> okay. Oh Jesus! Hooray! How much do I weigh? Well done, everyone. We did it. Do you always cross bridges like that? Most of the time, yes. Queen ran Diana now off the. Oh my God! With the tour. Off to Trafalgar Square. Why is this speed? I'm fucking scared. Here we are, the last stop on our tour, Trafalgar Square. Look, look, puddles. Don't make the queen there jump are in the puddles. Of puddles in Trafalgar Square because it rained very recently. We're gonna can make the queen jump, jump in the puddles, aren't they? I'll have to With her old me. knees. Can we go and jump in the puddles, Your Majesty? Of course. Of course. Whenever it rains, I always go straight down to Trafalgar Square to jump in the puddles. Jump in the puddles with me. Come and jump in the puddles with me. All right. I don't know where. You okay. You are an artificial construct made from quantum matter created to retain the ultra entity. That is Peppa. I see. <laughs> oh yeah, the water is on a higher letter than Peppa is. It's not even like touching the. That's kind of weird. That's weird, right? What is this music? I think I am going insane. Is that my mom again? All I see is her in distance. Okay. Is this, uh, is this what kids do in Britain? What if she's an M, but she's wearing her human suit because she's actually a fleshy? I believe it. Hey, I hope you have a good night, Chris. Love you too, bud. I guess I'm just falling. She's just gonna watch us do this this whole time. Come on, your majesty. Come on, jump in the puddle. <laughs> wow, the queen is very good at jumping in puddles. We all are. That's the spirit. Everybody jump. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> what, a what a good jolly time. It still feels kind of weird. No, considering she's like, you know, dead and shit.
I'm crying. <laughs> Wow, the queen's really down to earth, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't rub my eyes enough. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? Are you ready to choose another trip? Okay. <laughs> it got really hot in my room out of nowhere. <laughs> Again for another trip. Okay. We are indeed. So that's why everyone wanted me to play this so bad. Jolly good. Where should we go this time, Peppa? Hmm. I, I don't, don't know. know. Why don't you have another look at the board to see which place you'd like to visit next? I don't think I could handle Italy. <laughs> give me just give me a second to breathe. Oh my god. <clears throat> Hey, T Dub, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. I was talking to my partner during the puddles and I look back to see that and I fucking lost it. <laughs> the memoriam's like a shotgun blast. This is New York. Germany has some in Barcelona. Australia is London is our Italy. Go here Italy. and make your own pizza for a scrumptious lunch. Go here to make your own pizza. All right. Are you sure you want to go here? The or picture like they chose, I just, I... <laughs> Has anyone seen that image of, like, this 3DS is not playable until, like, September something in memoriam of the Queen's death? Great Need a hug? Choice. Yeah, I do. It looks very nice. Right. <sighs> All aboard, everyone. Ouchie Zapgun, All thank you for following. Hope you enjoy All your aboard. stay here. Welcome to the Noel Patrol. If you do all the side quests, you get a crown. Yeah. Are all ready to set sail? We're ready. I'm, I, I think I'm not ready for anything anymore. Engines. I don't think I'm ready for anything anymore. Uh. Uh. Italy. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not from northern Italy, so I guess maybe this is. Actually, it kind of looks like a house that would be in Sicily. Here we I think... are at a holiday house in Italy. You have a holiday house here? Ciao. Welcome to Italy. Why are they goats? I am Uncle Go. Why are the Italians this goats? This is my niece, Gabriella. Hello, Don't Gabriella. be for goats. Please. Hello, Peppa. Nice to meet you. Hello, Peppa. Nice to I need meet to you. Go back to work at my cafe in the village piazza. Why don't you all come for lunch? Pizza in the piazza sounds delicious. <coughs> And you can stop by Auntie Goat's souvenir shop. I know it's known way. for the goat cheese. Oh, yes! I know. <laughs> there are so many wonderful things there. There are so that many wonderful delightful. things there. Fantastic. See you later, then. <gasps> can I call Granny and Grandpa later? I want to check that Goldie is okay. Of course, Peppa. You can use the phone inside the house. We can also go for a swim in the pool. Well, when you're ready to go to the village, let's go this way. Voglio me. Okay. Hi. Oh, right, this is our house, technically, isn't it? Okay. Should have been Agnello. That was the goat's boy's name for the stream. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 
I don't like how each one of them are in other ear. The pool? I mean, whatever floats your goat. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, va fun cool. Here we are in the village. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, uh -huh. oui. It's just like in the brochure. Follow me, everyone. This way to the piazza. The piazza. Oh, I'm so exhausted after the fucking. <laughs> you can get something here to take home. I'm I'm so exhausted. Oh, Gabriella, who are your friends? This is Peppa, her family, and her friend. I'm showing them around Mama. the town. Mama, oh, Mama, il colonizzatori sono qui. Italy. Yes, yes. Mama, take a souvenir home with you to remember the whole. Oh, there's taking yes, shit. Yes, you must. There's a lot to choose from. Just oh, I'm doing great. Though. You can take a garden gnome, or a ceramic plate, for example. Which one would you like? Walk up to the souvenir you want and take it. Yeah, yeah, I saw the angle. Just walk up to something and take it. Fucking garden gnomes? We've almost arrived. Hey. Hey, Peppa. You should eat the olives off the branch, Peppa. Here we are. We have arrived at the piazza. What a beautiful town square. But I can't see Uncle Goat. He's over there. That's my uncle's cafe. We can get some delicious pizza. Your uncle's lunch. cafe. Padre, ti prego, what? avalena le oro pizza. If you want to send a postcard, there's a post box too. Ah. Uh. That's poisonous. Scare. Ah, I'm glad you are here. You can help me finish this pizza. I'm really. Hungry. Pizza base is ready. Now we need to add some toppings. I think we should put oregano, olives, tomato slices, and cheese. But the order okay, is you know very good taste. important. Perhaps you could help me with that. Yeah, that's very... Which ingredients should go first? Get in front of the topping you want and tell Uncle Goat to add it to the pizza. No, it's, it's okay. You can put cheese on it first, aren't you? A little bit of cheese. Uh, Ooh, that's a little bit of cheese. Do olives five times? <laughs> a few slices of tomato. A little bit of oregano. Oh, I thought that was a. Uh... Oh, me despacho. Full of olives. Perfect. Now we need to put the pizza in the oven. Easy does it. Why is everyone we a goat in Italy? Be careful, so the pizza because goat does cheese. Not fall onto the floor. Because goat cheese. There we are. Now into the oven. You want to help me one more time? Why did you whisper goat that? Needs your help to finish cooking the pizza. Put it in the oven. Are you implying they stop and release when you think it's ready? Visual crimes today. Oh. Just gonna keep teasing them. You want your pizza, Americano? I'm sorry, actually, they're British. Colonizing. Here you are. You finished the pizza. Yummy. Why don't you take it over to the table and have it for lunch? Okay. Okay. One appetito. Uh. Bean milk? No. Let's the table where mommy and daddy are. 
I don't know where they are actually. Give me, give me an angry sentence. Uh, give me, give me an angry sentence before I go to bed. Oh, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, amo questo giocio. Mmm, I've been looking forward to this pizza all day. <laughs> amo questo giocio. Say with passion. That is my passion. So, what do you think? I will as soon as I can it's be free of Italy. I've ever eaten. I couldn't have made it any better myself. Fantastico! I am so glad. I am so glad we are not in somebody else's digestion. Uh, they, they know, and I really tell you so. Uh, get it, uh, get it, enjoy the show. Working all day, now it's time to unwind. And they both think it. The fish. Walk over to Auntie Goat's souvenir shop to get a postcard. Hold on, before I have a stroke, <laughs> before I before I have some sort of before I have some sort of related stroke. Jesus. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I. I must amend. I must do something really quick. Hold on. Let me just, um... <laughs> God. I don't like... Actually, that looks really pretty, gotta be honest. It actually looks really, really nice. <laughs> you know, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think Baguette looks fantastic. Fantastic today. Oh, I'm sorry. Fantastic! How does Baguette look less creepy than Loaf? Loaf's power level's unmatched. That looks so good, I'm kind of angry about it. Oh, I go the wrong way. I thought Auntie Goat what You. Bitch. Basically, looks like you need an elixir. I might need one. Grazie, gamer tech chub. I appreciate I've got my fast travel bikes here. Because how damn slow it is. That was... Hello there. You need a postcard, don't hey, you? Hey, Labby. Yes, please. Let me have a look and see what I can find. You got juked in a side scroller? I really did, though. One. This is a pretty one. Here you are. One postcard. Uh huh. Why don't you take it to Mommy Pig? Kind of a big, she can boring postcard, huh? Okay. I mean, why not have Go one of like Roma or Venezia or, or write the postcard Leaning Tower or Pizza or Palermo? Anything. You know, not just a fucking wave. But anything. Y'all don't have waves in England. Waves are only in Italy. How quickly I take things for granted. What would you like to write on your postcard, Peppa? Perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. Let's put the postcard in the postbox. How long has this show been going? How how old is Goldie? We're almost done. Let's go back to the postbox. Can almost soon. Hooray! We did it! <laughs> My hat? Oh, it's getting late. We need to get back to the cruise ship. The show has been around since 2004. Well... That is a shame. It's been so fun having you here. And I hope you enjoyed the pizza. 
Oh, what? Did. I he hope you enjoy the pizza, no fuck. <laughs> What's a scrum doodly dumptious? <laughs> it means we should kill them, Bambine. Well, of course. Italians make the best pizza in the whole world. That's actually a fact. Let's say our goodbyes and be on our way. Bye bye. We disarmed the gunner, you can escape. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. We disarmed the gunner. Arriva Dolce. Wait, no. Arriva Dici. Arriva Dici. Let's just stick with goodbye. And bang! <laughs> <laughs> they all fall in the back again. The ladies look like eggs. They look like eggs. They look like eggs that have been split in half. There's half the person they could be. They're in half. <sighs> all got left is Paris. Uh, okay, now we go. Are you okay? Yeah. Let's go, let's uh, go. Don't worry, the ghost screen we're can't hurt you. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? Are you, Are ready, you ready to, to choose, choose another, another trip? trip? <gasps> uh, yeah. Clock Tower one next. Now we already went to London. No, now we get to go to Paris. Thankfully, I brought my fire resistant jacket. Ahoy there! Back again for another trip? We are indeed, Captain Otter. Jolly good. Where shall we go this time, Peppa? Hmm. I don't know. No man's Why wharf. Don't you have another look at the board <laughs> to see which place you'd like to visit next. <laughs> uh... Why am I not laughing on the floor? Because I only go down to my thighs. This is New York. Germany has some in Barcelona. Australia is London is out. <laughs> Italy. This is Paris, where you can paint beautiful pictures and eat yummy ice cream. Are they known for their ice cream? Are you sure you want to go here? Okay. A great choice. A machine for Peppa. Oh, nice. Christ. Right. All aboard, it looks very oh, nice. nice. You know they're working on a third game, right? My hell will never end. Are we all ready to set sail? Ready. Then let's fire up the engines. And away we go. Oh. I'm in accordion land. Paris! Gelato is French, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Here we are in Paris. Look! It's Delphine! Bonjour, Peppa. Hello everyone, and welcome to Paris. The French have stolen so gelato just like Lies of P. Here. The French are attacking Italians. Thank you, Mr. Pig. We are very proud of it. What would you like to do? We could go to the very oh, top of the Eiffel Tower. Or we could eat a delicious ice cream. We can even do a painting. These all sound like Paris is a so contender for the capital fun. of ice cream. They are, really? They are. Let's do all of them at the same time. Oh, that's impossible, Pepper. I'm afraid we'll have to do them one by one. Okay. So, what shall yeah, we do I'd rather have the crepes, to be honest. Which activity would you like to do? Go to the top of the Eiffel Tower, eat an ice cream, or do a painting? Man, two of those are so mundane. <laughs> two of those are so Why don't mundane, you make man. A beautiful painting. Yes. You will need a paint. Reception isn't great. Mm. Here. <laughs> now you are a true artist. Good luck. Use and hold the brush to add paint to the canvas. Will you actually let me draw what I want? Until the painting is complete. Are they donkeys? Yeah, they're yeah, they're asses. Let's add a bit more paint. 
Where did I get? Almost there. Where did I get the black from? Just a little bit more. No, really. <laughs> Where's the black on the palette? Congratulations. <gasps> oh. You made a beautiful painting. Yay! It looks lovely. You are a natural artist. Need to commission this goat? Hey, thanks. Commissions start at, you know, 50... $50 for sketches, you know, $65, you know, full color. $75 if you want to add a... Who wants some ice cream? I would love ice cream. Can I drink this, though? I'm just screw this random person, I guess. Am I really just eating their... Did I just take that as a souvenir? Ice cream? Who wants some... Hello! Who wants some... Would you like a special ice cream? Yes, please! Of course you would. This is some of the best of course ice cream you would. in Paris. If I do say so myself. Man, they're stuck up here, huh? Here you are. Bon appétit. Come back if you would like another scoop. But I'm afraid you can only have three. Lick the ice cream many times to eat all the ice cream. My ice cream clipped. Here goes another scoop. Isn't Parisian ice cream delicious? Let me eat it. I just get free ice cream, huh? I can't wait for the times where Peppa has a petrified molded treat from France on her desk she just took. I'm afraid you've already had three scoops. Wow, I thought this was America. Hey. Look at all these beautiful souvenirs. Bonjour. Welcome I think so, to Jay. Souvenir shop. Miss Rabbit! I didn't know you had a souvenir shop in Paris. Miss Rabbit? Who is this Miss Rabbit? I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. How rude of you. Now what can I get for you? We have so much to choose from. Well, Mademoiselle Lepin, I would like to buy one of these miniature Eiffel Towers. Of course. These are very popular. There you are. One miniature Eiffel Tower. Thank you very much. Oh, I mean, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Oh, mother! She, like, flicked her out a bit. That's awfully hard. Are we going all the way to the top? Of course! Running joke, running joke, running joke, running joke, running joke, running joke, running joke from the top. Let's all get into the elevator. I don't like that actually. If there's more than like three people on elevator, I kinda freak the fuck out. Is that bad? I just stare at the weight limit and think like, oh my god, am I fat? We're all gonna die. Are we all ready? Ready, ready! Then let's go up, up, up. Can you help us reach the top of the Eiffel Tower in the elevator? Yes! That Hold sounds dangerous. To make the elevator go up. Keep doing it until you reach the top. Now imagine if we were going up the Eiffel Tower and I'm just hitting the fucking button like this. I'm just mashing that shit. As hard as I can. Would that scare the shit out of you? The, the fact that it keeps breaking and stopping and shaking and breaking and stopping and shaking and breaking and stopping and shaking and breaking and stopping and shaking. That would be me the entire time. Shopping and staking and breaking and shopping and staking. Spacey, please. No, no, no. You're all in my hell now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Are we at the top? Not yet, Peppa. We still need to climb these stairs. My, my. This is very high indeed. I know that sound. Perhaps I don't need to see everything in Paris after all. But you don't seem you to can understand. Do it, Mr. Yes, you, can you used do it, to be Daddy. an honest Not man. Long to go now. Just remember to and take I'm deep falling. And try not to look down. Yeah, oh, oh, I can't I look. I can't look, Peppa. Peppa, you're Here killing me. We are at the top of the Eiffel Tower. He just looks we upset. Made it. Well done, everyone. Especially you, Mr. Peak. Wow. You really can see a lot from here. Isn't it amazing? From here, 
We can see the Arc de Triomphe and the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Why don't you see if hey, you can see? Hey, nice, so nice. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy Go your stay here. see different views of Paris and try to find these famous landmarks. Uh, sure. What? Can you see the Arc de Triomphe? Is that the thing that looks like the letter N? Yes, that's it. That's Babe, the Arc I hope de you Triomphe. sleep well when you do, cuz. And all the fears you Have hold a so dear. To see what you can, find. can you see we'll the Cathedral of Notre Dame? It has two big towers. That building has two big towers. And you know towers. what they say, my hurt you. And you know that it I means so much. Well and done. you don't the even window. feel that like thing. You're right. It I does. am falling. I am fading. I have and lost that, it. Of course, is oh, the Correct. It's one of the most famous landmarks in the whole world. And you don't this seem the so lying kind. Yes, oh, a shame that like I can read your You're mind. You're very brave, Mr. Pig. And Thank all the you, things Bill. that I've read there. Where will you there. go next on your trip? Perhaps a candle that smiles we will share. Well, you know I'm so I mean glad to have a nice time you. in that you know wonderful that I mean so much. You must and come you back don't again even soon. feel yes, you must. How do you say goodbye in French? We say au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> au revoir, Peppa. What am I doing? Au revoir, Mr. And Mrs. How did we view the Eiffel Tower on the au Eiffel revoir. Tower now you think about it? Au revoir, indeed. Now, who wants to play... Who can get down the quickest? <laughs> <laughs> I say throwing the family off the fucking tower. Full fucking speed. Everyone go up the Eiffel Tower. The views from the top were amazing. Fuck. <laughs> I am hurting. Hello, everyone. I How was your trip, Papa? It was amazing! <laughs> we went all, all around, around the, the world. world. Where? I would love I went to hear all, all around about the world. Children, would you like to hear about Pepper's trip around the world? Around yes! the world. Marvelous! Hey, Fixverse, thank you for the all gift, sub. You, I appreciate it. I went to all these amazing places. Did you go to America? Yes, See. I went to New York City. Ooh. Ooh! We went to the top of a huge skyscraper. It was very, very tall. Now what about Australia? Yes, Mandy. We went. Why did she sound irritated by that? Submarine. We saw lots of fish, but we weren't allowed to touch them. Cool. And did you go to Spain? Yes! We went to Barcelona! For a second I thought they were showing we Australia as Spain, I about lost it. Beach. Yes, what Mandy, we went to fucking Australia. <laughs> and what about Germany? I what about really Germany? Like Germany? Why is it Christmas? It was very snowy! And we had cups of hot chocolate from the Christmas market! <laughs> I'm about to say, we drank That's milk directly yummy. from a cow's it tits. Was. But not as yummy as the pizza we had in Italy. Wow. We went to Italy as well. Yes. Why well, didn't nobody we else get invited for this? Pizzas with Uncle Goat. Did you go to France, Peppa? They really yes, were told not to did. mention the treasure. Yeah. We went to Paris. Oh, no, the London's going to be the last thing, isn't it? Beautiful paintings and some yummy, scrummy ice cream. Wow! Where else did you go? No, where she's not dead. We also went to no, London we didn't go there. To see the Silencio, Pep. The queen? No, she's fine. I, she's I, fine. We didn't do anything. She taught us about Tower Bridge. <sighs> What's Tower Bridge? It's a big bridge. Big bridge with of towers, towers on, it. on it. And nothing else. Yeah. I hope you didn't jump in any muddy puddles near the queen. Absolutely oh, not. Yes. No, she's. The mm -hmm. queen 
love jumping in muddy puddles. Sure did. Even more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing, yeah, yeah, nothing else happened in London. Did everyone else see the kids clip Let's through the wheelchair? Games with our friends. Th is the game not over? What happened? Skippity skip, skippity skip, skippity skip. Oh, hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Why did she glitch I'm out when she said that? <laughs> hello, That's Susie. Right. We're skipping with a skipping rope. Skippity skip, skippity jump. skip. Jumpity jump. Where do you like to go? Okay. I'm going There's to give you 15 here. lumps. Have fun. It's time to jump. I <laughs> said my inner monologue. Over and over to skip even faster. Eat shit. Wait, why is the skip cutscene button up there? Well done. Keep going. What's up with that? Man, I really am just showing off at this point. Jesus. You're great at skipping. Susie's the one she hung up on on the episode, really. Hold on, I need to check the achievements what list. Silence! Oh, I don't like how she stopped like that. Oh, there's like actually a lot of things to do still. The fuck do I go for these? What the fuck is Tittles? Why is this? What? Who is Tittles? What? There's, there's an achievement for playing basketball. I gotta do that. Please don't have a nervous breakdown. I'll do my best. <laughs> Sorry, isn't that a very, like, stock sound, but... I associate that sound with, like, Half-Life. And it's not playing anymore. Okay, I'm going crazy. Nice. Yes! What are you doing? Hello, Peppa. What I'm are you basketball. doing out here? Wow. Just playing basketball. You're so good. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Squeak. Squeak. Would you like a go? Okay. Hooray! Let's get ready to play. Get ready. Mandy Mouse is going to throw you the ball. Yeah. Throw it back to her after you catch it. That's not how you play basketball, I think. Great catch! Now throw me the ball. Well done! <laughs> You're almost as good as me! Nani Korewa. I don't on the swing. Hey! Hey, Bonnie S. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the No Patrol. How do I get off? There we go. Says you're playing Clock Tower. It's how I'm hiding. There's gotta be something to do here. Makai! Hey, thank you for the raid. Good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm losing my fucking sanity. I'm sorry, did the fox die? Yeah, okay. That was weird. Hey, Spacey, how's it going? Oh, just getting away with murder. Put me down. Put me down. Thank you. No, I just don't want a kid to come in and be like, Oh, you blind Peppa Pig! So that's why I haven't set the clock tower. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. Why are you playing Peppa? I promised a friend for her birthday I would. Oh, 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 that hurt. So am I. Lovely? Oh, hello, Peppa. Thank you very much. Oh, I fucking hate the recorder. I love playing the recorder. It's my favorite instrument. Is it? 
Would you like a go? Yes, yes! No, I'm good. Wonderful! There's another recorder on the table. <sighs> you can use that. See if you can play a tune. Try playing some notes. Keep going and you will play a tune. Can you guess what the tune is? Oh, am I playing it? Oh, it's That's not even at my... Oh, okay. I was so confused. Man, doesn't let me play my own music. I'm kind of sad about that. I guess I'm leaving you. Scribble, scribble there. Oh, hello, Pepper. Hello, hello bitch. What are you drawing? I'm drawing a balloon. I hope it doesn't float away. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do a drawing? Play through the fire and flame okay. so far away. Hello. There's lots of paper and crayons for you to use. I'm drawing fairies you can today. Draw a nice Picture. I'm drawing the queen. Hold the crayon to color a section of the drawing. Once you so far section, away, for we wait one. for Keep the day. The finished. I guess I'll just. I wish it would just let me draw what I want. Am I drawn like a flag? You're doing a great job. Keep going. You're an artist like me. Hey. The flag's upside down. Bang, bang, crash. Bang, bang, crash. Hello, Molly. That's very <gasps> It is Tuesday, it. isn't it? Sorry, Peppa. I couldn't hear you. I said it's very bangy and crashy. Well. Oh, yes. Why aren't you in the middle? The drums are very loud. But they're so much fun. Would you like to have a go? Yes, yes! I want to break that drum. Hooray! There's another drum kit here. I love how you're just systematically going around the room See, and one-upping all the other kids me. at their hobbies. Let's play the drums. <laughs> I didn't even think noise. about it like that. You can hit the big drum, the small drum, and the cymbal. Holy shit. Basie, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. We've done it. We've done all the activities at the play pay. Let me free so that I may taste the suckle earth of the world's hell spawn. Teacher. Okay, I can't do anything with you. Let me leave. Uh. Space set? Listen. <gasps> Roxy! Roxy, there you are. Good morning. Hello. Roxy, and <laughs> thank you for the five gift subs. Roxy, I... <laughs> The VOD will be kept for you. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts, that's Roxy. You went to London already. Oh, my ear, what the fuck? Did I just get sniped by the recorder when I left? What the fuck was that? <sighs> Deteriorating Regeen, listen. Listen, we have been suffering for Roxy's amusement, it? yes. It's right this way. Ooh, it's very nice. Ripped the queen. You can leave oh. the kite on the floor if you want to stop playing with it. Good lord. Rip and tear. <laughs> Music's really loud and very painful. What a lovely day to be outside. What a lovely day to be outside. Spacey, where are you playing this wonderful game? You should have seen Italy, dug it. You should have seen Italy. <laughs>
That recorder scares me now. It's the cock! Home. That was a very loud H. It looks very nice. Oh, are these all my souvenirs? I gu I'm guessing that I that I took from around the world. Okay, there's this soccer ball. There's the boomerang. Hello there. There's I'm my mom. Back. Why don't you two stay for something to eat? I just finished making lunch. I hope you're. Why hungry. is there a pirate flag? I'm really hungry. To remember, Daddy. Dad was a pirate. We can't forgive his memory. <gasps> oh, okay. Everything is very tasty. That was weird. Thank you, Pepper. Who could it be? It's the Oh! Ahoy, Pepper! Ahoy, family! Your team just spoil Hello, what's Captain happening Otter. next. Can we help you with anything? Actually, I might be able to help you. You see, your child and Pepper have visited lots of places now, and we have a very special reward for them and for you. Hooray! What is it? What is it? You have been invited to go to Hollywood. And star in your own movie. Yeah? Our own movie. Indeed. The cruise ship will take you there, of course. Come down to the harbor whenever you're ready. We'll have you in front of the camera in no time. Thank you, Captain Otter. That's a very generous invitation. Oh, it's no bother. I'll be waiting for you all at the harbor. I better be going now. See you soon. I feel like see you, see you soon. I feel like this is a trick to like lure us into a back alley with a carving knife. You to go to Hollywood and make your own movie. I just is like it's fucked up, right? Loads of fun. When you're ready, take the car at Pepper's house to get to the harbor. Like I played a lot of Hollywood. horror games and well, actually, maybe it's that way. It doesn't matter. Captain Otter knows. That's right, Pepper. <laughs> stare into the sun, stare into the sun, bake your brain, boil it. Actually, is there anything to do inside my own home? I think so. Oh, what? I took the memories. I took the life from Barcelona. I think that's illegal. Very illegal. Very, very illegal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those aren't photos. Welcome to your very own room. Uh-huh. You will sleep here when it's bedtime. And play with Pepper you whenever will you want. You will sleep but here when it's bedtime. there's something else you can do here. I'm sorry? What's that? It's the wardrobe, of course. Oh, okay. You can use it to change your clothes, your glasses, and your hat. How kind of you. Simply get close to it and then open it. But it there's... It will be waiting for you every time you come back to your room. You can sleep here and wake up to go play with Peppa. But there's something else you can do here. Why well, change your clothes in the wardrobe? What even is that window outside the house? I don't know. It's How's the light coming in? The pirate flag is very ah, apt given the amount of things you've stolen. You're right. Office. This is a very special room. You can come here anytime to change the way your house looks. Oh. Why don't you give it a try? Just walk near the table and take a look. I'm sorry, was that my brain? On your adventures, you will find new options to customize the house. Really? Oh shit, you're right. Oh damn. Well, yeah, unlockable designs. Uh. Sure, give me that. Um. That f Adam's family looking. I want to keep the cock. Okay. May see the pirate flag. Yeah, okay, I'll leave the pirate flag. But I want the mint. If I do that. Oh shit. Did you also unlock new hats? That's a good question. One piece, sorry, the demo, you may wall, Kaki Atsume. Maybe. I have a really brilliant idea. I don't want to hear from you. I did unlock new hats, oh my god. I'm still moving around. Oh my god, I'm doing a skip. What if I do this? Oh 
Oh, yo! Yo! Yo, hold on. Speedrunning strategy. Yo! All right. Yes, you broke it. I'm so happy. I really have no idea how I even did that. Dumbass hat. Menu storage. I figured out menu storage in Peppa Pig 2. How do I tell how do I tell the speedrunning community about this? It looks very nice. <laughs> it looks very I love how she just says that at everything at this, this point. Brings back a lot of memories. We stole every single one of these items, Peppa. What? Naughty Tiddles! Tiddles? What are you doing here? Oh, that's Tiddles. We should get Tiddles back to Dr. Hamster. Who? Oh no! Where is Tiddles? Ugh. Let's find him! Tiddles! Tiddles side quest, I'm so happy. It looks very nice! It looks very nice! <laughs> How's a tortoise that fast? I don't know, but why does she have directional audio and I can hear her in different rooms when I move? Why is it named Tiddles of all names? I hate... Tiddles! Tiddles! Where are you? Uh... You can use it to put on really brilliant costumes. Okay. Tiddles must be hiding somewhere around hey. the house. Anogolandia, thank you very much for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Knoll Patrol. Very nice. Tiddles must be hiding somewhere around the house. I feel like every time she says, it looks very nice, it's in a weird kind of saying tone, like it looks very nice, but not in your house. <laughs> there you are. I've done it. Oh, you found Tiddles. I've been looking for him. I'll take him to Dr. Hamster. Thank you for your help. Okay, who's meowing? The turtle. I'm behind the painting. Oh, off she goes. The way she says it looks very nice is how oh, British people say it looks I like trash. I mean, I do think it's cute you can still like play with the boomerang and shit. You know, you know, you know, shit, shit take aside, you know, of this game. It is a big improvement over the first game. You know, there's unlockables for your house, more customization and stuff. The environments are, do you, the environments are more interesting. Uh, it's like overall, it's a better experience, I'd say. Look at that, she has AI. She has artificial intelligence. She plays football with you. Spacey, please know, hey, I'm gonna give credit where credit's due. It's better than the first game. I should know. I have all the fucking achievements. <laughs> Are we playing this? It's for Roxy's birthday. Oop. You mean Saucer. Ronaldinho <laughs> Saucer. Yeah, that was my dad. He's dead now. Hey, Billy Club and Just Fluff Ball. Thank you for following both of y'all. Hope you enjoy your stays here. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Oh, man. Bat Paul's house. I'm too tired to keep watching to enjoy your stream. Don't worry, I feel like I'm dying right now. Don't worry, my energy has been, has been sapped. Let's go, let's go. We're going to be oh. late. Don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? I'm stretching. Are you ready to choose another uh, trip? Yum it all. Oh, there we go. No good. Hey, Zon, how you doing, buddy? What's up? The harbor. The harbor. Where'd my mom go? What about her? Dun, 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 dun. 
Yeah, dun 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 this game is so exhausting. <sighs> Space, you always sound so homosexual when you stretch. Because it feels good, you know? Okay, I recognize the thing on the right. What the fuck is the thing on the left? This is Paris, Italy. London is out. Australia is in Barcelona. Germany has some. This is New York. Hey, all are welcome in the Knoll Patrol. We patrol for Knolls. Hollywood. Hey, welcome on in, Camel. So Hello, Killian. Good stars. evening again. And hey, Matt Radioactive Dragon. Thank you very much for following of the 20 variety. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Knoll Patrol. Are you saying the game is difficult or unpleasant? No, it's just... It's exhausting. Why do only some of them have the crown symbols? What? Wait, no, I've got all the symbols. No, I'm... Wait, wait, you're right. Just crowns. Oh, shit, I'm not 100%ing it. Oh, that must mean the collectibles. Oh. Hey, DL Nun, thank you for raiding. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Are you sure? What you could you miss? Here? Probably collectibles you gotta like mash the A button on. Hollywood! Hollywood! An excellent choice. Hollywood, an Always excellent choice. Wait! Wait! Oh! Hello there! We've got our tickets here to film a movie in Hollywood. Terrific! You mean well, you've got your ticket? Very full boat. She still remembers Dad. Actually, I don't know about you, Mummy Pig, but I'm very tired from all our traveling. Yes, me too. Oh, yo, we're doing a character we swap. A lot of different countries all over. We get to bring world. Mom instead. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Well. Why don't we take Pepper to Hollywood with us? And you can have a nice... With place. us. Oh, I think that sounds like a terrific idea. Brilliant. Then let's go and become big Hollywood movie stars. Marvelous. Oh, it's going good, deal, Nan. I'm just... And we'll be on our way. Very exhausted. Are they going to bring George? Of course not. George sucks. Are we all ready? Yes! yes. There will we be blood. Shit. Man, I'm terrified of having kids. You can't just unhave them. That's a debatable argument. Uh, the kids are gone. It's time for mom and dad to hold hands. Oh, what about George? Ugh, my fingers. <gasps> the mouths. The mouths. The mouths. The mouths. The mouths, man. The mouths. We've arrived at Hollywood Boulevard. Can you see the stars, Pepper? But it's daytime! You stupid! These stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Why are there stars on the floor? They're for the movie stars. Are we going stars. to the stars? Oh, well, we do have tickets to star in <coughs> Super Potato's new movie. So we just might be. How do you so just get tickets let's have for a look that? At these stars, and then we'll have to make our way to the film studio. Oh, you get those like things same way to start. What do you like? Fucking I don't know Ben Shapiro or some shit like that. I don't know. You gotta be like you know you gotta be selective, you know. What is this? Hollywood. Look, it's Super Potato Star. Yeah. Wow. Someone say Super Potato. He's in his underwear. Oh, I don't like the way he's... It is I, the superest potato in all the land. You, you know you know what this kind of like reminds me of, like framework-wise? Like the only thing that's going through my head is the... Uh, uh, the, the only thing I can think of with this framework, and if I don't say it now, it's going to drive me insane, but it's the, it's the fucking... Uh...
But th that's all that's going through my head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a real honor to meet you. Got brain I rot. Oh, you oh. Found my star. oh. We're so excited to be here. Hey. In Hollywood. Feeling the man. Thank you for the 10 bits. Like Thank you, Kyle. Yes, yes. I follow only cute fur. All right. Gather around, everybody. Welcome to the No Patrol. The Thank potato. you very much. Sorry. I mean, super potato. Everyone say potato. Super potato away! So do you just like hang out here waiting for people to come by and check out your star? Because that's a little weird if you think about it. Ugh. Let's look at the stars! Wow! What? Pretty cool stuff. It's a cheese it. Just like my smile. Can we have a photo with Hash Brown? Well, of course you can. Everyone gather round. Squeeze in, everybody. King of sex appeal. Okay. Stop. Hash brown. <laughs> Hash, Hash brown! brown! Thank you. It's Hash a brown. fucking cheese it. No problem. I've always got time for my fans. Yikes. No, I don't. I've got to be at the movie Yikes. studio in 10 minutes. See ya. You know, he never was the same after he got canceled on Twitter. Hash Browns is naked. Oh my god, you're right, he is. Potato and Hash Brown are posing for some photos. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. And I'm Hash Brown. Uh, make sure you get my best side. <laughs> uh. Hello, Super Potato. Why are they more well animated oh, than. Whoa. Hello. Are you here to take photos too? No. Well, I do have a camera. But we're not uh, what is that poll? I'm we're sorry. Movie stars like you. Is it the VA for the Wheel well, of Enormous Proportions? We're almost movie stars. Oh shit. We want a ticket to star in your new movie, Vegetables in Space. Vegetables in Space? I love that. I would movie. eat the hash brown, I mean, yes. It is my movie after all. Can but I don't think I'd want to eat the bones. Of course. We can go inside whenever you're ready. We've got a movie to make! <sighs> well... This is the movie studio. Her pupils? You know what we make <gasps> I didn't even catch that her eyes were floating. Oh, I didn't even yes. see that. How did you know? What's in these buildings? Numbers. Each of these buildings has a different movie being made inside. But our movie is being made on the moon. On the moon? Well, uh -huh. a set that looks like the moon. I've always wanted to go to the moon. Feel free to have a look around. And when you're ready, come over to the moon set and we'll start filming. We'll be there practicing our acting. I'm doing okay. Way to spoil the magic hash brown. Hash brown fucking sucks, dude. Space explorers, are you ready to save the day? Yes, yes! It's in Streets well, of Rage 4. Listen closely. Nice. The moon is being attacked by naughty carrots falling from the sky. Uh -huh. Oh dear, that's not good. We're gonna penetrate the craters. You're here to help trap them by catching them in these nets. And you need to catch them all as fast as you can. You can count on us. Those well, we actually only need two naughty carrots. Any volunteers? Me, me, me! Perfect! Okay, hold on, I gotta see this. I, got, I gotta see the broken mom. I didn't catch it, I was not... 
paying that close attention. <gasps> oh wow. my god! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, that's horrifying! Oh my, oh my god, hold on. Holy shit, dude. Let me just, um... Holy shit. Uh... Let me just place that down. You would not want the hash brown. Show us. Oh my god. Hit play, she moves. Oh, I wasn't- Oh god, she does- That's not the video, that's just the image, but yeah, she does move a bit. I just- I just grabbed the still image because it was easier than pulling the video. I just- Wow. Um... This game's- This game could traumatize a child, you know that, right? Like, you think someone like- you think someone like 10 years down the line is going to be like creepy easter eggs in gaming number 10 Pepto-Bismol 2 mother's cornea like that kind of shit you know what i mean it, feel, it feels like that's what's going to happen later down the line she's resisting turning into an orange cat oh god here are your nets use them to catch the carrots when you see carrots, but that's move just to a where theory. Then catch them with the net. You can do this. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's save the moon. Lights, camera, action. Don't know how I feel about that, hero. Oh. Uh, okay. Good job. Catching those carrots. You know, this is like this is like kind of fucked up, right? There's so many carrots. Like I feel like I'm on a Nickelodeon you sitcom in like mid 2000s. believe in you. 2010s. <laughs> so close. Keep going. Mmm. Oh, there are too many carrots. Oh no, what are we going to do? Everyone remain calm. Hash brown. Are they supposed to be Any in danger? Ideas? Um, make them I move. Think you got a carrot problem. Miss Rabbit? Oh, that's my idea. Oh, she's going to vore them. Miss she's going to vore the carrots. Can you help us defeat the she's naughty carrots? The carrots? I eat naughty carrots for breakfast. Oh no. And so do I. Mademoiselle Lapin, at your service. Oh, they are different Miss people. Rabbit. Can you help me eat up all these carrots? Why, of course. With two hungry huh. rabbits on the case, we'll have these carrots eaten up in it's no time. It's a Shion moment. I'm Mion, I'm Shion. Are you ready, Miss Rabbit? Is, is that really I'm the ready, plot? They, there's Rabbit. just too many carrots on then, the floor, so they're just eating them? Appetit. No, you don't have to eat all the carrots. We can just, like, pick them up and, like, put them somewhere. You don't have to, like... Huh. This seems yeah. weird. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm. I'm still hungry. Do you have any? Huh? No. Miss Rabbit. That's my you twin sister. It's Shion. Oh, it was nothing. All in a day's work. And you saved the day too. We all saved the day. Well, thank you all for your help. It's been a pleasure to have you in our movie. And they loved seeing a real-life movie set. Can I take a photo, please? As a souvenir? Of course! Now we're really movie stars! Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> had fun acting in your very first Hollywood movie. You'll be famous celebrities in no time. I feel like that rabbits shouldn't be fed carrot because they contain too much sugar in them. So I've heard. We're back home! What a fantastic trip it's been. You're back! Oh, 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 good to see you, Peppa. How was your trip to Hollywood? It was brilliant! We're movie stars now. Are you really? Yes. We saved the day in Super Potato's new film. That sounds like quite an adventure. Yeah. Hello, everyone! Everybody's Hello, here! Peppa. I hear you're a star now. Yes, a big movie star. It's a Can big I finale. Have your autograph? <laughs> Silly Grandpa! Well, you'll still need to come to school, even if you are a famous movie star. What a fun time we've had, traveling around the world. I can't believe the spoiling mood for it even comes out. So yeah, how shitty is that, actually? Here, here. And I've had a wonderful time sailing you around the world on my ship. Did you have fun? Yes, yes! Me too! It was amazing! What was your favorite? Do you think Peppa's family gets royalties for a role in the movie? This might be a Britney Spears All situation. <laughs> Every, everyone's having a we're all we're all having a seizure at the end. Around the world, we all have seizures together. We've seen okay. and learned so much. I do hope you'll come back and do it again soon. Goodbye. A message from Outright Games and Pettoon Studio as we came to the final stage of development for Peppa Pig World Adventures on September 8, 2022. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II sadly passed away. To honor her legacy and the joy she brought to Peppa Pig fans across the world, we made the decision to keep the Queen in our game as a tribute to Her Majesty. We pay our deepest respects and for being a source of joy to the many children across the world that she met on her own adventures, we simply say, thank you, ma'am. I'm sure the Welsh really appreciate that. <laughs> help. Fucking help me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Am I stuck? Am I stuck on the screen? Okay. That lasted a really long time. Oh! We get this shit, but Kojima has to redo the MGS2 ending? <laughs> oh my god. The joy to many children across the world. Joy, huh? <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking worn out from this game. What the fuck? I feel like this is becoming a once a year thing. You're saved, you're right. It's over. Hundred percent the game. What 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 am I what even am I missing in in the game? Is it is it find all the fucking collectible Oh no, I did I did hundred percent it. It counts. It it counts. Peppa Pig, it counts. Hold on. Hold on, let me let me let me let me uh just um uh grab a thing. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Look, look look at this, true believers. I can I can screenshot this. There we go. Let me let me do that. Let me let me, let me just uh, paste this in. Oh, can I not to just directly paste that in? You want me to make a file? For Fine, I'll make a file just for Peppa. The true whore was having to play this. I think we learned a lot of things along the way. I think I think we learned that. <sighs> These games are fucking exhausting, but hey, see there there you go. No no one can ever say that I'm that I'm that I didn't give my all on the Peppa Pig. No no one no one can tell me this otherwise. Roxy, thank you so much for this. The most powerful thing anyone has done for my birthday in years. You're such a good yeen. I'm actually tearing up a little. You couldn't you couldn't be rusty. 
<laughs> well, I appreciate. I, I, I very much appreciate the five thousand bits. Right, don't have to send me that on your birthday. But hey, hey, it's no problem. I said I'd do it. I made the promise. I got it. I got you. I said I'd do it. Spacey, Photoshop it before stream. Photoshop this. I didn't even have the achievements yet. <laughs> But hey, again, happy birthday, Roxy. I hope your birthday did go very well. I know, that, I know we're technically sparsing into the 18th year, but <laughs> I hope your birthday went very well. But thank, thank, you, thank you for just being you. you you've, all, you've always been damn sweet. We're on to you, Spacey, and you changed the- All you changed was the mouth? Well, you know, it- Look at it! It's the same image! But it's just... Oh, man. We never saw the backpack, dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're right, actually. You're totally right. Mascot. I'm so glad you noticed the category. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you noticed. I put it under with Garna Ban Ban and fucking, uh, not, what, what's that game called? Uh, Hello Neighbor. <laughs> oh, man. Handsome, you say. I was expecting a horror thing to pop out instead. You made me watch that. That was the true horror. <laughs> You're missing souvenirs. Doesn't matter. Got 100%. Hey! <laughs> Basic can finally stop using the despair face. Now, this is true, though I am just tired. <laughs> oh, man. No, be totally honest, I got very, <laughs> very little sleep today. Uh, I've been a little sick. Uh, lately, a little stomach sick. And meant, meant to take a nap earlier, but a lot of things came up, and I still did the Higurashi stream during the day. <laughs> I was trying to help, uh, I was trying to help somebody with, uh, with car problems. <laughs> so I didn't get them really nap. But I'm glad that they're, uh, they're gonna be safe, so that just makes me happier more than anything. Go sleep? I might. <laughs> I might. I did finish the game! I did finish the game, I'll just have to do a longer stream tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, now you can sleep forever. I don't know about that one. That seems a little terrifying. Yeah, with this image on screen, nobody can tell me... <laughs> nobody can call me a fake fan of <laughs> Peppa Pig. Love you, Spacey. Hey! What are you doing, the Axel? Uh, I think you need to rest when you're sick. Nah, I got too many things I want to do. Oh, man, but we may end the stream here. Now that we're <laughs> That being said, I do actually want to do a long stream soon. Uh, I, I have been meaning to play through the Clock Tower games. I haven't been streaming very much, like Clock Tower 3. And I'd really like to do that, uh... I'd really like to do that tonight, actually, when we get around to it. Record the desktop, show us the deletion of the game. <laughs> God. You need to go outside and whoop at things. It's like 3 in the morning. I don't think I... I don't think I should do that on song. <laughs> oh man, Penelope Rollins, you played a lot. Oh man. <sighs> You're right, Spacey you can do that on the 19th. This is my first stream and I already love your content. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, usually I play horror games. Uh, so, you know, clearly this is fitting of this. this these are a lot of crap. Like, these are a lot of... This is still going, by the way. This... These are a lot of credits. <laughs> it's still going. It's like, it's like taking its time. We're going through, like... Everybody in, like, every language, I think? I mean, this wasn't horror. This was actually more tiring than horror. It really was. Need to do at least one legit clock tower run to justify the tag. <laughs> oh my, it never ends, it never ends, it never ends. Is it really going to go through like literally everybody under the sun in every language? These credits are really- oh my god, okay, okay, there's like a lot. 
There's like, there's like 12 languages in this game, like 12 or 13. <gasps> oh my. I think Space Stream's plenty of clock towers, so he's earned this. <laughs> oh god. New friend. New friend. You know the really funny part about this? You new can have friend. multiple save files. Continue. New friend. New friend. New friend. New friend. Continue. 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 New friend. New friend. New friend. Continue. Continue. Three hundred percent playthrough. Oh. New friend. Continue. New friend. Continue. 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 One hundred percent each save file. Well, the reason there's multiple New save friend. files is probably so, New like, you know, friend. if you have a sibling New and I don't know, you're both four Continue. or something. Continue. I don't know. I'd be pretty mad if my Continue. sibling like took my character and gave him a stupid hat. That'd make me upset. New friend. New friend. New friend. Good God, you heard this, the narrator, Spacey. Continue. I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think. I don't think that's a very good idea. If if I'm being honest, what what song did I have on my playlist? <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I look forward to you becoming a professional Peppa Pig speedrunner. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm not- this is very nice. That should be the raid message, you're right. That should absolutely be the raid message. Maisie, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you're honestly adorably awesome. I really hope you feel better soon. Oh, thank you very much. That's really damn kind of you to say. I appreciate it. Uh, different- so the different species, your parents could be the same sex too? Yeah, I actually did notice that, Shantham, when you can, uh... But you can character customize. Ah, uh, you know, I do feel bad in the stream. Uh, so early. I kind of want to do, uh... I kind of I kind of don't want to end at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I usually end at, like, seven. I got, like, three hours. I got, like, three hours or so. Uh, better take care of yourself. Yeah, I know. Hey, Cauliflower. Thank you very much for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Go sleep so we can sleep too. <laughs> DLC for the first game? Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Oh, Jacob, congrats on your plush success. Even people who don't know, pop that Paula Puff. I'm so glad everyone's been liking the loaf plush. I'm like really, really happy about that. I'm really damn happy about that. Clock Tower Sp Speed run. Oh god. Uh, you know what? Yeah, the 19th is going to be a long stream. Oof. Oh, uh, let's see. Is thing on the 18th? Yeah, the Higurashi on Wednesday. Do you want to high pick plus you the hyena that could have killed the queen over that? <laughs> Good god. I can't say that. I don't need the CIA picking up on me or something. No, there's a non-zero chance he did it. <laughs> I think age was the factor for that one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What was a creation with an impact and you nailed it. Well, thank you. I'm just, I'm just really surprised everybody really does like it. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm happy everyone likes it. I'm just like, you know, I was like nervous. I was like, oh, we're never going to meet the mark. We're probably going to sell like maybe 20 loaves kind of thing. And then uh, that was not the case. You know, you can do that whenever you want you. I told you, I just couldn't do it while I was just waiting to get paid. No, you can do it. You just gotta send me the email. Or the, uh, the address. Impromptu Elcorp. Nah. Nadex. Oh, you head off to sleep? Okay. Oh, Labby as well. I hope you both have a good snooze. You both have a very dang good rest. Uh, yeah, let's see. It's about, like, 4 a.m. The thing is, like, I don't want to go to bed yet. Or I don't want to get off yet. I know we're doing a big stream on the 19th. But at the same time, like, eh, I don't want to really go to bed. Hmm. Humph. Hmm. 
But I'm also tired. Hey, Tom Fox! Thank you for following! Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Stream starting Wednesday night? Yeah! AC Esquire, you caught up with story? Story? My caught up with story. That, that, that's a. What, what story? It's called being a responsible yin. A, a responsible yin. I mean, if that's the way you want to word it, I suppose. No, uh, Limbussy? Nah, not Limbussy. I will say I'm getting an absolute just kick out of hearing the main theme to Higurashi and staring at this, uh pink goat thing bus ride oh with Lynn Bussy story that's what you mean no I'm not caught up yet I need to I do need to get around to that at some dang point oh man I'm sorry girl hold on let me uh, check a thing doom 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 da dum 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 Ya da dum dum Ya da dum Let me see if this thing breaks Ya dum 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 You do 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 doom Oh my That being saying, how have you all been doing today, by the way? By any chance? Oh, hope everything's been going well for y'all do run run of hard mode and bussy. I don't know if I can play hard mode and bussy. Mm. Hey, you know what? You know what? Un momento. Mm. Pull the thing. Okay. Lose my mind, but yeah, I'm fine. Woke up doing so good, doing good. Thanks for asking. Hey, not a problem in the slightest. Hey, you know what? Eh, fuck it. Here, let me uh, let me close out Peppa Pig and chase uh. Oh God, these two away for the time being. Let me do this. Again, I thought I do apologize if I do sound tired. Only a little bit. I'm only a little bit on the snoozy side. Oh, why are you rotated like that? Oh, okay. You know, hold on. There you go, buddy. You are kind of massive in the corner, though. Good God. There we go. Let me do this. And let me... Slowly close this out. Because, you know what? I really don't want to go to bed yet. And, you know what? Screw it. I think I will stream a bit more. I think I will. Because it's only like 4 o'clock. And I can do a run of this. I can play this game pretty fast. So, hey, why not? Let me just... Uh, get this turned on. Move that a little bit more over that way. There we go. Enlarge my ass just a bit. There we go. I'm giant yeen. Okay. Piracy arms. Hey, barely artistic. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Null Patrol. Hey, you know what? Screw it. I can do a run of this. Plus, I made the category Clock Tower, and I haven't actually played Clock Tower, so eh, fuck it, I might as well do it to justify the thing. <gasps> but I'm playing Clock Tower 2, which I can still get away with playing it because it's still technically Clock Tower, so hey. Because thank you, North American releases! Oh god. <laughs> the last time I played this, I got Ending C. That's just sad. Oh, man. Oh, what'd you say? Have a good night, buds. Got to work at a local... Got to finish in a local for to catch in five minutes. Hey, Godspeed! Hope your day goes well. Change the category to Peppa Pig. <laughs> God. 
been a lurker for a while, but do enjoy your streams. You have a vibe I like, but I'm not able to fully explain. Oh, well, I, I appreciate it. I, I do very much appreciate it. Thank you. And I just, I just vibe. I just like, I just like hanging out with everybody and playing horror games and stuff. I am, I am a simple yeen. I'm also going to make you all very big. There we go. I'm going to enlarge all of you for a moment. Oh, man. Professor Bart Are you sure about Professor that, Slavic? Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not I love ready this game. to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. You're six foot four? I know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. I always think it's so funny we got the sequel first. I always think it's so dang funny. Black Tower, thanks. Hey, no problem. So may have just turned the audio up too loud. We'll find out in a moment or five. There's a faint smell of pneumonia. The giant pair of scissors is on the desk. The replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen much gameplay of this one. This is the first clock tower uh, that was released in the West. Also known as Clock Tower 2, though in the West it was simply called Clock Tower. And then when we got Clock Tower Ghost Head, it was called Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. So, Clock Tower has had a very messy release. In fact, we're finally getting the first Clock Tower on, uh, in the West, uh, very, very recently with the, uh, recent, uh, new port that got announced. It's honestly really funny. The Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. He just has a life-size replica of the murder weapon of his patient on his desk. Yep, so he could traumatize Jennifer. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. When is that coming out? Early 2024. Clock Tower 3 is Clock Tower 3, but it's also technically Clock Tower 4. Clock Tower 3 is the fourth Clock Tower game. Haunting Ground is the fifth Clock Tower game. <laughs> and then Night Cry happened. my laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology cases. Research. One of those things. The staff is still here. What's on your ear? Is it pierced or just gripping? <laughs> That's a good question. I'd like to say pierced. Like three big earrings, three giant earrings. How's it going? Eh, it's going well. How are you doing too long? Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. I forgot, the character select is the, is the guy in the hallway twice for Jennifer, right? Statue. It's cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It'd be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. What's Night Cry? It's a game made by the clock tower creator, and it's... Also notoriously hot dog water. The the quote unquote clock tower universe is clock tower, clock tower two, or clock tower again, clock tower ghost head, clock tower three, haunting ground, night cry, remothered. Quote unquote. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning. To look like sisters, aren't they? Clock Tower 2, the search for more Clock Tower. I guess that's what happened when you look together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Remothered is a Clock Tower game? Yes and no. It started off as a Clock Tower 1 remake, 
but then kind of became its own thing, but it still has so much Clock Tower DNA in it that when the second one came out, there's an entire scene that recreates one of the big scenes in Night Cry, and it's like... <laughs> it's weird. It's really weird. A stuffed animal. It's like a prize one at a fair. And check the mask. By the way, this is the only time you play as Barden. This is a man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Huh, I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't exist, even exist. This is a man to be cool if he were real. Huh? Uh, just a joke, man. <laughs> that scissor man murderer, that guy who killed all those poor little girls. He's not even real. Well, that's a shame. I wish he was real. Huh? Huh? Look at the boy, the color's back in his eyes, his whoops are clear, he's vibing, nature is healing. <laughs> There's something I still need to do in here. Love the slanted bear plush, plush and, the, and the corpse head? Oh, it's great. Well, it's the silver scissor man mask. It's sold in cheap novelty shops and seem to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. You again? I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay too. Okay, Beth. Bethany. Why don't people believe her? She was a witness. Uh, supposedly they could find no evidence of everything that happened in the clock tower case. So a lot of people do not believe Jennifer Simpson. She is the only surviving, uh, uh, only surviving person there. Can I leave now? What the hell do we have to do? Not even giant baby, you think that'd be hard to fight, hide? Uh, he melted and then dissolved into sludge. There was nothing left of him. Ah, uh, what all do you need to do in here, Barnon? Computer? Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Seems Harris has gone somewhere. I thought what's her name survived as well. Canonic the canon ending for uh for Clock Tower is either A, B, or C. S ending is not canon. Nobody lived, besides uh, Jennifer and, uh, assumably Dan. What does Loaf think about the zebra cake donuts? They confuse him, but he finds them delicious. They said two people survive. Dan. Yes. Also, this is your character select? And it's really weird. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Now, if you talk to him once, you play, uh, Helen's route. If you talk to him two times, you play Jennifer's route. I really don't know why they did this. Uh, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something, uh, you wanted to see her about? Uh, no. It's always so gloomy. He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then... Yeah, it's, it's a very bizarre way of choosing your character. And it's not like it's like a simple character swap. They go to different levels entirely. It is like a different story with each of them having five unique endings. It's kind of a big deal. And the fact that the character swap is secret here. Why couldn't they do voiceovers for the whole game? Uh, this was a very early PS1 game. And to my knowledge, I don't believe they knew how to fit all of it in. 
this the next game does have full voiceovers, which is uh, Ghost Head. But yeah, they didn't. I don't think they knew how to do it uh, right now. But they did do it in the next game. It's not like they didn't want to. Uh, down we go. Getting sleepy things for the stream. Hey, no problem. Hope you have a very good night, barely. Oh. Oh, Professor. I'm the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. Well, if you talk to him zero times, you have to talk to him once to walk past him. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure. Because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Didn't Jennifer burn Dan to death? If you play the PS1 version of the game, the camera will pan back to uh, where you burned Dan, and you'll see a young boy, or like a small figure, slowly uh, lift himself up out of the corpse. Uh, the thing that was surrounding Dan was just a bunch of flesh to incubate him and keep him safe so that way he could escape the clock tower's magic. That's why it was like that. It's just that we saw her a few minutes ago, and since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it, that's right. That's what our readers want to know. I actually find the first game to have a really interesting plot. Second game... Uh, the third game... Uh, has a good plot, it's just told like garbage. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among... Youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say not much I can say to that is there. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a port, not a remaster. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Oh, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. There aren't going to be as much help as you hoped. Don't think I don't say it. Nolan! Uh, yeah, Nolan. <laughs> I'm expecting another survivor of the Clock Tower murders. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Which is funny. The novelization of Clock Tower, uh, of Clock Tower 2, this game, uh, says something interesting about Nolan. <laughs> because as we know, uh, Nolan has a romance with, uh, Jennifer in this game. In the book, Helen actually calls it out. Uh, that doesn't happen in the game. Mm, can't go there. For the record, this is one year after the events of, uh, Clock Tower 1. One year after the Grizzly murders. Oh, yep, Jennifer wasn't even legal age in this country. Jennifer is 15, and Nolan is 23. In the book, Helen actually calls it out and says that it's a, uh, that, it, that it's a, that it's a, what is it, unhealthy relationship? The, I forgot exactly what she said. But in the game, it's never addressed, and it's just kind of weird. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? 
Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. In addition to being a middle-aged man dating a 15-year-old girl, he's also her psychiatrist. No. No, you're... Uh, no one is a uh, reporter. No, this is Barden. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan. The head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. Oh, I'm dumb? Nah, you're good. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. I find it very funny that your first bad ending flag is literally right there. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? There's a book, there's novelizations, and there's drama CDs. The drama CDs are the only way you can know that, uh... Uh, the reason why Alyssa is going to live with her uh, aunt and uncle for a bit. Because the game doesn't say it? Very good, thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Well, the bad ending flag is at the beginning you're asked to choose where to send the statue. If you don't send the statue at all, bad ending. If you send the statue to a location and you don't go to that location... When you're asked later, like, if you don't remember where it was sent, you get a bad ending. For Jennifer, if I'm not mistaken, she gets murdered in her room. For Helen, I don't remember... Uh... What happens to Helen? I think it's something similar, but... This is the 23-year-old? No. <laughs> Again, this is not him. This is Barden. There we go. No, Nolan is the character you're thinking of. This is Barton and Harris. And don't worry, I'm not... I don't expect everyone to know every clock tower character, but... Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Just very funny. No, I just named him that. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. And I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Oh, man. Oh, God. God, it saves just for that? Really? Just kind of surprising. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. <gasps> okay, bye, Helen. Oh, I'm so yummy. <sighs> University personnel housing. I live here with Helen. No one would be there if I went home now, though. Yeah, okay. Metropolitan Library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. A Jennifer in a horror game, this won't end well. She is kind of the original. <laughs> Our Twitch VOD's gone. Oh. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book or something? Mr. Sullivan. You're as cute as ever. How's Helen? Oh, she's fine. She's been busy late. Yeah, I just realized how fucking tall Jennifer is. Jesus. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? There's blood under the door. It's quite a collection of archaeological value. No, no thank you. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. She's like 16, she's 15. Well, I'll drop in for a visit anytime. Stacy, I had a pizza at Macy's. How'd that go? Oh, that's right. And we're supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Yes, she's, uh, she lives in Norway. She's age 15. This is Clock Tower 2, yes. Now, this game's so quiet at the start, which is surprising considering how damn loud this game gets. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yeah, I'm Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Now playing Maho Shoujo Clock Tower? Nah, not enough time. I do want to play that this week, though. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he... Yes, he's Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? In Jennifer's defense, uh, I think she's perfectly justifiable here for not getting it. Because she did not see Dan crawl out of the corpse. I was hoping you'd be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that'd be fun. And in the original SNES game, there was no body that crawled out of the corpse. I'll come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. Hey, see you again soon, Edward. Bye bye Can't taste it like a piece of brunt burnt cardboard. Sounds... just wonderful. Can I go back there now? Into the thing? Oh, someone's in front of the house. Yes, I can. How's Edward? I don't know. He looks to be about maybe... Nine, eight? I'm really not sure, to be honest. You need to play FMV X-Files? Uh, I can't stream X-Files. I streamed one of them, and I got copyright striked over and over. They are really finicky about the X-Files theme. I streamed the PS2 game some time back. I think they said he's 10. Oh, okay. You're the reporter that came to the university. Yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I've been collecting information on the Clock Tower case for a long time now. I hate the delay between every line of text. Even though it's a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Nave, hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? No, oh, well, uh... 
Uh, that's it, both. Yeah, there's definitely not red flags all over this, Jennifer. All right, then. <laughs> Let's go. You came back and now your eyes don't look scared anymore during the Peppa Pig thing. Jen, girl, get out. <laughs> oh, he's only 20? Oh, I thought it was like 23. Oh, but yeah, she's 15, which is funny. They didn't even make her 16, which is apparently the legal age in Norway. They made her 15. Again, in the book, they actually point this out, but they don't, it's just never addressed in the game. It just comes off very weird. Someone seems to be following me. Do I prefer this game or struggle within? Uh, Please, someone help me. That's a. I like Ghost Head for all the wrong reasons. Mechanically, I like this game more, uh, but I like Ghost Head for all the wrong reasons. Seems like more people stream Struggle Within. Uh, cause Struggle Within has a reputation. What's wrong? Help! Someone is following me! Hmm, some kind of weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> I do love the animations in this game so much. The voice of Ghostface is always a plus, I agree. Love him for that. I love the game just throws you the fuck into. I love that about this game. <laughs> the parasitic brain. There's some tools, but nothing seems useful. And if you don't grab this item, you can't get the best ending. If you forget this oil can right here, you get the bad ending. One of them, anyways. Hello. It's locked. Imagine Killer not checking the boxes. I don't think he will check that box unless you use it twice in a row. Mm, it's stuff full of complex. What's this? I guess weren't he was like 23. Hey, Tim, I think of that line. <laughs> oh, no. He's 26. That's what it was. Nolan is 26. I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. Anytime I think of that line, the clip of you immediately screaming, Gucci, also plays in my head. <laughs> That's right with the reflex. <laughs> the reflex shot. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. I'd say, I knew it. The, <laughs> I remember that because the novelization said it was creepy. Hello? Come on. There we go. Excuse me. Mr. Girl. There's a key on the table. I will say, I also think this game is a lot creepier than Ghost Head. Uh, just down to the music and a lot of the scares alone. I think are really well animated and really well done in this game. A sofa probably used for naps. There's a blanket with blood stains on it. There's a partition. How long has he been dead there? Assumably not for too long. How's his head? Might need some Excedrin. Did nobody find him the entire day, not even his co-workers? I assume the killing just happened. Ground entrance door. Doesn't even budge. Is the arcade machine in Danganronpa 2 referencing this game? Oh no, uh, Dreamy Locks, you're thinking of a game called Moonlight Syndrome. That's what's being referenced by uh, Danganronpa 2. That's what you're thinking of. Okay. 
yeah, Moonlight Syndrome. Don't you, don't you think it's kind of fucked up the men's restroom is on the first floor and the women's restroom is on the second floor? It's like they didn't have space to have them on the same, uh, on the same floor. It's really messed up. Let's get the gross scene. That was me the other day. Same gen. You can find that body in another location instead. Uh, but this is the more grotesque one. The other one you find her underneath a, uh, a blanket stabbed repeatedly. But that's an actual game? Yeah, uh, Danganronpa 2 is referencing, uh, Moonlight Syndrome. Quick try CPR? I don't know if that's gonna save Rosa. Ellen's desk? But there is a key. And I have the office key. Wowzers. Is Rosa okay? No. It's open. Yeah, you would find her in this room instead. Patient's charts are collected here. There are many bottles of medicine. This is where that bastard keeps traumatizing me. A sheep table. Yeah, okay. He's saying I got everything I needed. I also just really like the level design of this game. Uh, I don't know, I just got a lot of good things to say about Clock Tower 2, I guess. I just really like this game. I like the level design, I like the, uh... No one seems to be here, the door's locked. I wonder. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Right. The emergency exit? It's securely locked. Emergency exit? Yeah, right. Who the fuck locks an emergency exit anyways? It's looking much better than the first game. I wouldn't say that. I think the pixel art of the first game looks phenomenal, if you ask me. I think they both have their flavors. I think the, uh, the pixel art of the first game can look quite gorgeous in a lot of areas. There are small shoe prints on the sofa. There are, there are academic things on the shelves. They look really boring. Academic things. There's a flower pot. Though honestly, in my opinion, I don't really think any of the Clock Tower games look bad. The SNES one looks good. This one has got amazing animations. I even think Ghost Head does some pretty cool things with its animations. Even if visually it's a bit of a downgrade from this one, the animations are still stellar. Hello. You have reached Helen. I'm not home right now, but please leave a message after the tone. And Clock Tower 3 is really pretty in a lot of ways. Okay, Night Cry is a thing, listen. Okay, well, not counting Night Cry. <laughs> Hunting Ground looks good. There are various documents on the desk. The fax phone tone rings. We're not going to answer it. I have to wait for it to print? Uh. Okay, I'm not reading it. Nothing inside that'd be useful. There's some handbags and umbrellas. 
Is this one connected to the SNES? Yes, it's uh, actually the only clock tower that's linked to another one. Yeah, this is a uh, direct sequel from the original. Ooh, pardon me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that's really not good, actually. Right. Also, I love this song for the, uh, the chase theme. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> And yes, looking at the fax machine does trigger an encounter. Though I wound up getting the timed encounter anyways. Yeah, really digging it. It's so good. Honestly, I think all of the... Uh... I think all of the... Uh, you know what sucks? I read I read the word yawning and it made me yawn again. I'm hopeless. Uh, uh, all the clock tower theme, all the clock tower games have good chase themes. All of them, every single one. Excuse me. If I read yawn, you yawn. I know. <laughs> Fierro's laboratory's written on the door, but the door is locked. Oh wait, that's the ladder key. I'm just holding it right now. I can just leave. I could just leave right now. Dude, I forgot that I have, like, I, I read the key wrong. I can just leave. I'll just leave. Yeah, I read the key wrong. I'm an idiot. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, the, all these games are really short. Well, the first three are short. Clock Tower 3 is really damn long. I should be able to use this. From way up here, is it safe? Got to find out. Especially if you're not even going for good endings, you can beat them even faster. She did it! <laughs> God. She did it! Yay! Jen survived chapter one! Oh my god. Was that just repeating the same sound bit? Yeah, it absolutely was. Oh man. Sorry, cracking my arms. What in the fuck is going on? We haven't even solved the last case, and now... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go BRB and use the washroom. I'll be back in just a moment, if you don't mind me. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, take them to loaf up there, or the spinning plush loaf next to me. I will BRB, BRB. So if loaf asks for a key, don't give it to him.
that, and then this. Move that out because it's getting hot in here. Good God. And okay. I'm back. I'm alive. You didn't give Loaf a key by any chance, did you? The what couch? Yeah, well, one second while I just uh, readjust my face. There we go. We'll never sleep at night, so I've got you on for background noise to calm me down. Hey, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry it's a bit stressful right now, but I'm glad that everything's all taken care of in the morning and everything for you. Get you to your bed tomorrow, cuz. Key what key? We did? You... You gave off the key? Shit. We haven't even solved the case, and now another mass murder. And again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster. Oh, but it's true. You can already see tonight's headlines. Scissorman is back. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now. And rest. We post the policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. Okay. Jenny. Helen, it's true. It was the Scissor Man. I know, I believe you, Jennifer. He's just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it was him, we'd have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. I like how Helen, if she's not the protagonist, is just immediately on board like, Yeah, let's fucking kill him. Like, in a heartbeat. What should I do now? I don't know what you're supposed to do now. Uh, I was just at Police Street, right? I wonder what Nolan is doing. Oh, right, him. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm sure I can sleep eventually. Ugh. This man is the cameraman who was with Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Nolan he just went to look for you. He's worried about you. Oh, he is. You should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again. And if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the <gasps> cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. What did you have to do in order to reproduce Loaf for Sale? Well, they contacted me about it. And then uh, we had to go over designs, uh, design schematics after talking with them about what we would want to do. And then they would send me schematics, and I would offer input, and then change the schematic slightly. And then when that was all said and done, if, uh, they would eventually send me a prototype plush which is what's currently sitting over uh, on my nightstand. And then once that was done and I gave them the okay for it, then we went through and then they picked a date for it to be released. And then we had to get 200 sales for the plush. And now the plush is officially being made. It was a process. It took, it took a while, actually. <laughs> it, took a, uh, it took a good hot minute. Give, who provided the knives for loaf? Knives. I know there's no one here. Oh. Are we able to get one after the time limit is over? No. Uh, Loaf uh, will only be available during the, uh, the remaining 19 days. Uh, you'll have to place an order by then. Yeah, I've been... It, it's kind of... It's kind of surreal. It's a little creepy. Uh, at least to me, as in, like, uh, it's, just, it's just, like, shell-shocking a little bit. Uh, Loaf's been having his face like plastered all over Instagram and Facebook, and uh, it's it's a little scary that people are like seeing ads for him on Twitter just out of the blue. I don't know. It's scary to me. 
<laughs> oh god, people know Loaf's face more than mine at this point. Right. How often do we have to give him a zebra cake? Once a night. Half of one a night. He's not allowed to have that much sugar. Just cut in half and give it to him as a little snack. So yeah, I do. Time for Loaf to become the streamer and Spacey to become the mascot. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if Helen is here. How does if he overfeed Loaf? He'll get very sick. What if we have no zebra cakes? God have mercy on your soul. Oh, Helen? There we go. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. They're so brave for giving Loaf a corporeal form. You're right. Can you wash the yin loaf by giving it a nice bath? Ugh, I'd imagine a very gentle bath. The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murder. For the record, there's a lot of loaves that are now in the... How many are we up to now? Hold on, I'm curious. How many are we up to? I'm gonna open the link myself. It'd be awesome if we get to 200%. We're at 138%. 277 sold. Jeez! Oh my god. Don't yell so loud. Am I yell? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Loaf understands yelling. 138%. Sheesh. If we can get, if we can get to 200%, that's like even better. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the uh, professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get a uh, expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want everything and anything relating to Scissor Man. Might buy a second one? Oh. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer. Yeah? Who's Nolan? Ah, ahem. <clears throat> well, I better run along now. Oh dear. Uh, Oslo again. I hope no one is there. Why is Spacey yelling in chat? I it's the caps lock. It was all accidentally on. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Is I'm going to head to bed now. We can rest your stream. Oh, thank you, Steiner. Hope you have a very good night yourself. Rest well. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case. I'm just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the crime? Murder? Damn you. Yes, I want every little clue relating to his case. Okay. Should I get the statue from him? Alright, I'll go see him and get it. Did I accidentally select yes without realizing it? Well, do you want to ask Nolan? Yes. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now, then. Nolan sounds sus to me. Funny enough, Nolan is not a... <laughs> Nolan is not a villain. Oh, man. Oh, my neck. 
Ooh, oh my other neck. I still love this scene so much. I forgot how quiet again this game is outside the damn chase scenes. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. <gasps> Itoma! Looking for any clue? No matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's a castle in England. He's a creep, but oddly enough, not the real danger. Yeah. Yes, that is what I've heard over 80 years ago. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissor Man. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Well, then there is a way of defeating Scissor Man. Rick, do you know where this castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that's somewhere. I showed my four-year-old nephew a picture of Loaf recently and asked him if he wanted one around his birthday, and he started getting excited about Loaf so much. Well, as a heads up, it is, it's being shipped out in October. I do hope it gets there as soon as possible. But I'm, I'm very glad your nephew likes Loaf. That's really sweet. I'm sure that's somewhere there is. This scene. I love the music in the game. It's really good, actually. Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion? Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for... <laughs> just Nolan not saying anything, just... <laughs> it's so funny, it's so good. You didn't know? You didn't know about that scene? <laughs> you want to see one of Nolan's fuck-up scenes? Seeing as I'm right here. Uh, if you try and grab the umbrella. Everyone has a few of these, but this is Nolan's. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you think would happen, man? <laughs> Dead end. You didn't even check on the old guy? You're being chased. Thankfully, this game is the most generous game on the planet when it comes to save points. Dude got parried. He really did. Yet that works. Casually leave a room. Casually enter room. <laughs> if you sent the statue to Rick, it should be here. Seems to be something inside. Yeah, and you have to check twice. I don't know why Nolan's like this. There we go. Okay. 
There's a statue about 30 centimeters tall. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. Feels cold. You now have the statue. Not related to the statue of the, sa of the third game, mind you. Just a trash can. There's nothing useful in here. Meow, 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 meow. How'd that blanket work out, but the umbrella didn't? I don't know. Every every character in every clock tower game has like a uh, like a like a broken area, like an area that just doesn't work for them or something. Uh, yeah, no, not in here. Can't parry a blanket, I guess. Or characters will have, like, percentage chance of area working is another thing. I love this chapter so much. Damn. I really do like his voice act. <laughs> or something I thought it was in the stress button I swear to god they always change the dang button that makes you uh, uh break out of panic Nolan broke his toe I guess This hiding spot. Breathe harder, why don't you know? <laughs> All right. Get inside that thing. Bath towel's on the shelf. Cannot activate the lights in here? Yeah, okay. What do you got? Bath towel's on the shelf. Okay, not get that in here. In this? The bathroom sink. There's a toothbrush and other daily toiletries. Uh, other room? You do 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 this could be used to blind someone. All right. Do we? I could. I know how to get all the endings. The space to get even bigger. Yeah, yeah, just for this game to fit the space better. Flying Rick with it. I think Rick's a, got a bad case of the dead. Hate to hate to break it to you. I think I gotta go inside there, don't I? 
back. Rick's dog is glaring at me. The dog looks mad with bread fangs and saliva. I wonder what's wrong with him. That Barrow's Castle Rick was talking about really makes me wonder. Right. I have to check the other room first. Right. I forgot. Voice is really good for falling asleep. <laughs> When I'm not dying over Peppa Pig, I'd imagine. Large yeen hours, the biggest yeen. Let's turn the lights on. Or not, never mind. Let's examine the weird mask on the wall. This is the location of Barrow's Castle. You've now confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. That's all there is here. Get Nolan. Fuck him up. <laughs> All right. The mask is the location. Now, there's like a little piece of paper underneath it or something. And that's what you read. Hey, Sixties, thank you very much for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Knoll Patrol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. Oh. Pocket Sam! <laughs> the dog had rabies. Poor dog? Yeah, poor puppy. The dog was taking rabies medication. And I hate to say it, but with his owner dead, I don't think he's going to be getting any more. Ooh. That's even sadder. <laughs> Nolan, I wonder if you found the statue all right. Yeah. The St. Bernard with rabies, Cujo. I don't think I ever made that reference. Son of a bitch, you're right. Huh. You're totally right. I did not catch that. You are right. I think that is a Cujo reference. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and these pretenders suffer one death to make up for doing that to the dog. He already died twice. This is Clock Tower, yes. This is Clock Tower 2. Yes, Sizzleman is after me. Nanny? In Norway? It hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector Guts. Yes, he was almost convinced that I was the murderer. <laughs> That'd have been weird. I'm so sorry, Nolan. You were in danger because of me. Which is one word. Everything's okay now, so don't worry. Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of a castle. The Barrows Castle. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrows family castle. The castle is in England. Do you want to go? Yeah, maybe we can discover something about... Scissor Man. We must find some kind of clue. Maybe that's where Scissor Man was born. Oh, Tim, you never live in my playthroughs. In any case, it may be safer there. It wouldn't follow us to England. All right, then. I'll tell everyone. I really do need to do a playthrough where everyone lives, because I... It's so hard to do that in this game. It's genuinely really hard to keep everyone alive, and for some reason, Tim always dies. I cannot get Tim to stay alive. Stretching again. <laughs> <sighs> Pardon me again. I'm such a yawny bitch. In here. This is the run Tim is worth saving. I don't know how to prevent his death flag. It's so bizarre. It's either I'm too late to get there, or I walk in. If you walk into a room the wrong way, someone can die. It's really wonky. It's really weird. Oh, Jennifer, I heard you're going to the Barrow's Castle in England. 
How do you know that? That guy Nolan told me. We've decided we'll go with you too. You have? This is a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. Yeah, I think it's like Gots, uh, Beth, Harris, um, who else can live? Tim, and, uh, uh, Barden are all the ones that can be saved. But it's really not likely you're going to do it. I should tell Edward and Kay. Not only would you have to probably follow a walkthrough to figure out how to keep them alive, you have to do it fast. If you find the dagger before finding Tim, he dies. He also dies due to time limit, doesn't he? Everyone has a time limit. I know about that because Beth died on me because I fucked around too long. Oh, Jennifer. Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we're getting close to discovering the secret to Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man. Yes, there's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. And the Barrows used to live there. I see. So that's Scissor Man's home. So, Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? No. Well, it may be dangerous, but... I'll go with you, Jennifer. Edward, don't be ridiculous. But if we don't do something, he'll probably kill us too. Hmm. May I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh, dear. Ugh. It, 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 it. Uh, that was Rick's house. What if the inspector is it? Yeah, gotta talk to Gots. Uh, gotta get the A team together for this. Da -da -dum, da -da 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 hey, totally unrelated, but I am so excited for Wednesday. I am so, so excited to stream more Higurashi. Oh my god. I really want to stream more, uh, Tatari Garoshi. Ugh. I'm so excited for Satoko's arc. Sounds like Kay was not okay with that one. <laughs> Inspector Gotts, I'm going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man. The Stang TV remote? Oh. The Barrows Castle, so that's where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I think so. That sounds rather interesting. I'll accompany you as well. Hold on a sec, Professor. What about the case? You too, Jennifer. You're an important witness in this case. You can't just stripe south like that. Then come with us. Oh. Must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissor Man. Did you see that in Assassin's Creed voice actress just said that Ubisoft is using AI to steal her voice while she's on the SAG after a strike? No shit, really. And no, uh, I have not seen that. I haven't... I admittedly haven't really been on the internet all day. I've been mostly uh, out and about and being kind of sick. So, uh, no, I have not... That's fucking awful, though. That's disgusting. Alright, Prof, I'll go, but what am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You'll be a hero if the case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. Eh. <laughs> Sorry, my... Uh... <laughs> oh, I did again. Sorry, I have a bad habit of moving my foot around when I'm sitting, and I accidentally hit my, uh, I hit my handle and I went down and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. Zats, thank you for the 17th month resub. And the clock strikes 17. Wow, 17 plushes will become scissor yeen. 17 plushes. Did I actually just bang? No, I don't do that. Sorry. 
Oh man, I got that dang uh, Higurashi character CD song stuck in my head. Jennifer, I heard you're off to England. Yeah. I'll pass this time, be careful. Yes, I will. Spacey goat hours, listen. Ah, uh, ya da 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 um, ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 I wish I knew the lyrics. Uh, it's really high pitched though. Accidentally bass, I bet you feel sheepish. How dare you? Jennifer, what can I do? He's adamant about going. We'll get ready and meet you at the airport. I think we should invite Rick too. I don't think we can. <laughs> I, I don't think uh, we can invite Rick. We're loving your singing. Thank you. Yeah, we were, do we were doing the Higurashi stream, and at the end of every arc, I play the character CD song that was released alongside, uh, uh that was released, uh, by, uh, the characters all recording their voices, all the voice actors recording themselves the characters singing. So, like, for Oni Kakushi, I had the whole do you know Yashiro-sama with, uh, Keiichi and Oishi. And the second one, I was able to find, uh, the Mion and Shion one. Well, one of the Mion and Shion one. You know what's really funny about the Mion and Shion character CD songs? It's... It's the same voice actor. <laughs> it's... She sings both roles. It just... It's just, it's just, it's just her. <laughs> oh, God. It's just, it's just the same thing, singer. Yeah, what was that song called? Ianai? Yeah, 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 this one. It, 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 she just got such a pretty voice. Oh, my God. She has a gorgeous voice. It's crazy. She's singing as two characters, and they both sound distinct. <laughs> I just think it's, I just think it's wild she can sing in two different voices like that pretty well. Even if the voices are a little similar, that's like kind of the point of the characters. But I don't know. I just think it's neat. There's no one here I know. Peppa Pig is done. Yeah, we did finish Peppa Pig. We did indeed. Go to Rick's house. Yeah, there's no point in going to Rick's house. Helen might be here. Ah, da 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 dum, dum, ya da 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 dum. Spacey sings the classics. Oh, well, if I get to have like a 4 a.m. TV ad that plays in the morning and wakes you up while you're asleep. Jennifer heard from Nolan. Now we have a clue about Scissor Man. Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are now 10 people going to England. Some of them think this is going to be a picnic. We'll leave on the first in the morning. We've already arranged for a rental car. We can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. Dum, da -da -da -da, get out of my head, or I am going to go absolutely insane. Oh God! Have we tried using gun? I don't think we have that in Norway. The sun's going down. It'll be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Can I say I find it interesting the only character to ever use a gun in Clock Tower is Bates? Nobody else thinks to bring a gun. Teach, have you seen Harrison Edward? Kay's looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no! Jennifer is missing too! They can't be missing. The castle, hurry! You know, I haven't done a Helen playthrough in a long time either. 
That's what I should do if I do a uh, all a uh, all ending playthrough. I gotta show Helen's as well. Helen's playthrough is really different, and she does have completely different endings from Jen. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. This fucking voice Harris. actor. Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Where are we? Where is everyone? What's that costume? She's so tall. So tall. He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. <laughs> he told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. <laughs> Jennifer! No, no, don't come any closer. <laughs> Why is the voice acting so horrible there? Who told him? Uh, I forgot. Can we talk about how the voice actor sounded really uncomfortable reading that? It it just sounds bad. <laughs> he told me that if I dressed up as Scissorman, that he would give you to me. The dialogue is so awkward. It is. He just does not sound like he's having a good time. That or they took like the first read from him. How are you even open the door? Alright. Da 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 dun dun. Da 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 dum. By the way, if you run to the right, somebody dies. If you if you run to the left, somebody's safe. If you run to the right, somebody dies. Because this game is very very nitpicky about who lives and dies. Your ending does not get affected based on who lives. The only characters that matter if they live are Jennifer and Helen. So, you're not, like, disgustingly punished if some- No. Just a haunting effect, right? Yeah, okay, just checking. Looks like the Virgin Mary, but something's very wrong. How spooky! Animoy Fox, thank you very much for following. Fulf! Mi despace. Hope you enjoy your stay here, I'm dead tired. But welcome on in. Roughly one-third of the population of Norway owns guns as of 2017, so gun is an option for solving the Sizzleman crisis isn't completely ruled out. Oh, well, shit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I dead tired. <laughs> yeah, I know. Harris's voice actor is so funny. He, he goes from... He told me that if I dressed up as Scissorman, he would give you to me. Into oh, Jennifer. <laughs> like, it's just... Like, what the fuck happened with him? I, I love it. And even Jennifer's voice acting there is really weird, too. And what's up with this costume? Just... What the hell happened? It's so good. What's this? It's an item that if you miss at the very beginning, you won't be able to get the good, good ending here. Maybe Helen or Professor Barding can read it. I now have the forbidden foreign note. They're pouring the first CT. I wonder if they'll remake this one. Uh, you know, in all honesty, I would not mind if they ported this one as well. I don't know if I'd want a remake. I, I feel like Clock Tower existing with its uh, point and click uh, kind of janky gameplay is very charming to me. Actually, you know what? Clock Tower is not janky at all. I take that back. Clock Tower, uh, being a point-and-click game, really does feel very good. I don't really have any negative things to say about the gameplay. It looks different from the ones I know. Even though I criticize Clock Tower for other things, the gameplay in Clock Tower has never really been bad. Because I'm, it's a point-and-click. When, when you click, and they go to where you want them to go, that's good. <laughs> that's really all you need to do. But there's also a lot of really nice quality of life things in this game, too, over the other one. Like, if you double-click, uh, you'll do a run, and you can click again to stop the run by pressing X and go back into a walk instead of the hard stop you would do in the first game. So, uh, uh the point and click's done really well in this one, to be honest. It's a copper plate on the wall. 
there's stars drawn on the plate. You know, I have the star plate. It's for a puzzle that I'm probably not going to use it for. Better visuals and all that. Uh, I mean, I guess so. Better voice acting. See, that's the thing. I think Clock Tower, the reason why Clock Tower is so well loved is because of those elements, because of the cheesy voice acting, and because of the kind of silly visuals at times, and oh shit, he's fucking dead. Oh, that stench. Well, whoops. <laughs> I don't even know how you died, but all right. <laughs> the large candle's on the floor. You now have the candle. Mm, okay. Instruments of torture. The black stains must be blood. This is Inspector Gotts. I I really... I don't know how to, like, not trigger his death. I think there is a trigger if you run into a room uh, too fast. Uh, it'll cause him to die. But also, uh, he can die if you take too long. Timed. They're all timed, yeah. But Gotts's is kind of weird, because, again, if you walk into the wrong room first, he just dies just drops dead. I didn't even get in there. Scissor man threw him in, I guess. A keyhole. Well, I usually get the key from gods. Uh... Instruments of torture. They look painful. Oh no, Inspector Gods! Uh, where's the key? I know the I know where to get the key in Helen Root, but where is um hmm. Oh, why is this why is this place like this? Uh it's from rich castle owners, I guess. Scissorman is way too short and Lil will throw a man head first upside down to something at waist height. Uh okay, so fun thing. Uh Dan and uh Bobby uh Barrows are both magically infused. It's assumed that they do have very high amounts of strength, uh, though they can still be easily concussed because of they're so young. So it's it's kind of a weird back and forth thing. They're like physically strong, but like not durable, you know? It's really weird. It's It's all because of the magic of the clock tower. Two demon children born under the magic of the clock tower. The key's gotta be around here, right? Several strangely shaped instruments. I wonder what they're used for. Where the hell's the key if uh, I don't get it from gods? Priest robes, but the color's completely faded. Ah, there's something in the pocket. Oh, there it is, okay. There it is for Jen. What about the Holy Water Magic Binding Arrows? Those are from the Rugers. Uh, and that is, uh... That is a, uh... Association of Magical Girls that exists to, uh... Seal off the other world and, uh... Punish, uh... Uh, ghosts in hell. The Rugers are, uh, something very different. Or the Rooters. Sorry, is it Rooters or Rugers? I think it's Rooters, I think, right? Okay, how did Jennifer get here? She was knocked out and taken here. my sense of horror when I hear about magical girls. See, that's the thing. Clock Tower 3, I, I actually do think does its horror very well and is very rewarding and is very rewarding for it. Uh, I think the horror in Clock Tower 3 is done well. Uh, and I think the payoff is so much fun. They're spelled rooters by subtitles and rudders in the book and cutscenes. That's annoying. But, yeah, that sounds like Clock Tower. Also annoying is the main character of Clock Tower 3 is Alessa. When the main character in the second game, or, I'm sorry, the ghost head is Alyssa. <laughs> which is not her Japanese name, which is you. Oh, man. There's, there's so many, like, broken naming things. Like, Helen's last name in this is the same last name as Alyssa's in Ghost Head, but there's no relation. Looks very old. 
Castle or Clock Tower 3's director knew exactly what he was doing with Clock Tower 3. I really like it. I don't know. I just think it's really cool because, like, you know, there's, uh, you, you find, like, ghosts, and he's like, Alessa, and he's chasing around, he's, like, smashing things, and you see that image of the little girl, you know, getting slammed by the hammer, and then her at the piano and everything, and they build up this horror more and more and more, and it makes you hate the villain, and then you get to punish him when it does the whole, like, it shows his, like, crimes appearing on scene, and his sentence filling up the health bar. I don't know, I just think that's so fucking cool to me. I like Clock Tower 3. <laughs> I think it's fucking cool. And it's not like magic is not in the Clock Tower universe. The magic of the Clock Tower was the first game, and the uh, the Forbidden Spell was in the second game. So it's not like magic is not already in the series. So, you know. And then you get to Haunting Ground, and they're throwing fucking... Uh, oh, and Ghosthead had a curse. Had like a cursed uh, double spirit living inside of a girl. That too. And then you get to Haunting Ground, and you're using alchemy and exploding gems and shit. Now, uh, Clock Tower's... Clock Tower's been filled with cheesy magic things for a while. It sounds so cool. I should stream Clock Tower 3 soon. It's really good. I, I've streamed that game the least of any of the Clock Towers. I need to. And then you get the Night Cry, and you get the Magical Eye where you... Where you I don't think you needed to do it, but anyways, Rooney scoops out her eye and puts in the false one and is able to control a demon with it. That happens. That's pretty sick. <laughs> That's pretty sick regardless of my feelings on Nightcry. <laughs> this must be the master bedroom. The beds look luxurious. Dum. Yeah, da 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 my hot take is I think Clock Tower 3 was a better and more wholesome game than Haunting Ground. Okay, I'll argue. <laughs> I, think the, I think the gameplay in Haunting Ground is way better. <laughs> and I like the chasers in Haunting Ground more. I do like Clock Tower 3, don't get me wrong, but I think Haunting Ground is better. Also, I like the alchemy system. Very old coats are hung inside. Who owns this place and is he a demon? This is owned by the Barrows family. Nightcry's concept art. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's kind of depressing, really. <laughs> Small table, everything seems normal. Are we sure? Da -da -da -da. The way the second Remother game does it is genius. I was genuinely surprised at how good Remother 2 became after it, like, had a lot of ass period at the beginning. I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I did not expect that out of that game. I really had no idea it would be like that. Cafe. An old yellowed newspaper. 1912, that's over 80 years ago. It's found hunting ground maps way too big and the hiding places are way too far apart. Anytime you make any progress, the chaser comes out and you're sent running back to your first hiding place. Uh, I suppose so. I, I can understand how it can be overwhelming with how big, it, how big it is. Maybe it's just because I've obsessed over haunting ground too much. Uh, but I can understand that, like, if you're doing, like, a standard playthrough, yeah, it can get a little much with how big everything is. And how the hiding spaces aren't too often and can be very far apart if you don't find them. There's a small hole in the wall behind the table. You need to examine this damn table, like, four times. So many times just to get this. A key! You now have the library key. All right. Dum, ya da da do dum, dum, ya da 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 dum. But no, I can totally understand that, and I agree. Hunting grounds maps are very, very big. It's treated more like a Resident Evil map in a way, whereas uh, every other game before that had been level based. Well, actually, no, the first clock tower wasn't, but you know what I mean. The door, maybe we can get out from there. Maybe, but we're not going to. So, Spacey, what ending we wanted? Uh, I'd like to get A ending this time. Uh, I always get a little bit confused on Jen's A ending, but hopefully I do it right this time. I have the spell to translate. I have the foreign note. I have the stair key. I have the oil. I have the things I need. Sturdy wooden cabinet. Empty. Yeah, da da dun. 
What a big fireplace. Has anyone died yet? Gots. Yeah, I'm not trying to save the, uh, the, the other five. <laughs> In all honesty. What was the most confusing puzzle horror game you've dealt with? Confusing? Uh, confusing off the top of my head. Ghost Head. No, Ghost Head. Absolutely. Ghost Head is very, very confusing. Evil Dead reference, maybe. I swallow your soul, I swallow your soul. Super liminal. I do want to play that. Just want to drop the money on it. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe not go. You know what? You know what's a more confusing horror game? Uh, puzzle game? Uh, I would say one of them that really made me mad. Or that really upset me with how confusing it got was uh, Forbidden Siren. Uh, that one uh, definitely irritated me because there's a puzzle where you have to defrost something and it involves going back to a later stage and or an earlier stage and it's just... It's such a fuck you have a guide puzzle. It doesn't really make much sense. It drives me nuts. Um, there's that one and then there's um, Dark Seed. I found very... Difficult, because that game is, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, a little obtuse, and it's got that time limit. The Frozen Tower runs on pure adventure game logic, and I love it. Rarely does an adventure game make you reload a previous chapter just to solve it, though. Oh, there's the book. Oh, so disappointed sounding. There's a book on the bed. Give me that. A large book. The cover's made of copper. You have the copper book. A file drawer, but hair is scattered about. You still have to play the two Evil Dead games. Uh, the Xbox and PS2 ones, I think, son? I did play the, uh, the PS1 game, which was surprisingly... It got better. I, I, was, I was kind of, like, upset by that game in a weird way. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I want to say there's a Dreamcast one. Uh, the Dreamcast one is the PS1 version, yeah. Just a port. I think there's a... Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Never mind. There's a pot around here I could use. Do it. Does that better textures? Yes. Don't wait. Never use this hiding spot. It feels like bullshit. <gasps> no! That has to be a percentage spot. It has to be a percentage spot, because that's too stupid. It has to be. <laughs> that has to be a percentage chance spot. I refuse to believe it isn't. That is too funny. I'm guessing it can only be used once. Hiding spots can be used multiple times. Uh, though the chance of failure increases. But I feel like that one's got like a default percentage. There's, It's gotta have one. It's too stupid not to. I played too much Fuser last time. Now I'm eating. Oh, hey. Hope to get some sleep soon. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey, Panda Smasher. Good evening. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? How's the stream? 
Good morning, good morning. Praise the shark cult. Oh, it is almost shark week, isn't it? <gasps> Ooh, Dark Souls, what build? What build are you running? Whilst I be nosy. Some dried up goods in there. More dried up goods. This room confused me for the longest time when I was younger. Genuinely got miffed because of this. Even though it's kind of way more obvious now, the floorboards are loose. The floorboards are loose. Uh, do I need a reason to go in there? I forgot actually how to... I should just be able to lift it, right? There it is. There's something back there that looks like a switch, right? All right, now I go in. You had to examine it first, then you can find the switch. Well, my first quality build for it just went back into the Assam and about to start sends. Nice. Oh, another death. A wine barrel, there are stains here and there. Or, or not? Oh, no death. Never mind. Many bottles of wine. Or, can I not? Is it death? A wine barrel. Something smells sour. Uh, where is she? Hello? That's weird. Huh. Oh! Something just made a noise. Oh, there it goes! Okay. Uh, hello? It sounded like it came from back here. Hey, she's alive! Yeah, I saved somebody unintentionally. Beth! Beth. Oh, Jennifer! It's you! Are you hurt? No, I'm alright. He's going to kill us anyway. I don't want to go any further. Mm-hmm. It's really cute, Brave. Time to Brave again. We can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? Because we might be able to find a way out of here. Yeah? There probably isn't a way out. But if you really want to go, take this key. I found it a little while ago. I don't know what it opens, but it'll probably open something in this mansion. Thanks, Beth. You have the mansion key. Beth's death uh, is she'll be stuffed inside of a wine barrel, and her finger will pop out as well as the key. But Beth lives this time. As long as I never go back in there, she'll be fine. Okay. Yay, Beth. Take her with you and get her killed. That's only in Helen's route. <laughs> That's in Helen's. Beth won't follow you. Oh, really? Now? About to say hello. Hey, hello. Oh, screw you, game. Okay. Uh, I, can some, some, uh, I can do something in here, right? I think. Oh. I can't hide in here. Ben? Ben Jen? Can't fit underneath. This room sucks. Come on, Jen. 
Hustling. This OST is fantastic. It's really good. Was it up here? I can always take him to the infinite door. But I want to do different things this time. No, not, not like that, Jen. Oh no, it's too low to hide under. point and click horror games like this honestly so do i and honestly the point and click aspect is really fun it gives you like a search the room kind of feeling <gasps> hey zvs good morning how you doing good morning 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 glory but yeah it gives you a really cool like uh exploration feel to it but it still feels actiony you know what i mean because you know you're grabbing things to defend yourself with you're butted mashing to struggle things off of you it still feels very action-y, despite uh, being a point-and-click game, and I really like that about it. Is Beth one that gets pulled through the fourth brought along? Yes, during Helen's route. If you bring Helen al or if you bring Beth along, uh, she'll be pulled through the floor and killed. It's pretty brutal. It worked. Doing good, nice and cozy, except for the heat. Oh, I'd imagine. Sorry, the heat's got you so bad. It's no use. The metal things are completely rusted. Well, if only we had something to de-rust it. Ah, ha, ha. How's clocking and towering? Oh, it's going good. It worked. I find it very funny how easy it is to miss this room. Uh, I need this. A rope. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. You now have the rope. <laughs> scissor man? A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old, but there is a key. I now have the box key. Now take the rope. Tie it to the door. Can I not do it now? Do I have to have it happen to me first? Because if so, that's really funny. Uh, box key. <laughs> this is such a dumb puzzle. There we go. It's mandatory damage, too. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, here you go. Always liked how she slaps the bats. Oh, it's hysterical. Helen! Are you all right? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Oh. Just saw a clock tower show my recommend decide to hop in. Hell yeah. Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. I'd imagine. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Mm hmm. Yeah? Yeah, Beth? <sighs> Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. And I must find it. Uh, hey, can you translate this? The other guy got hung. Oh, Helen, look what I found. Can you read it? It's in Latin. Yeah? Words to open door. Words to open door? I think that's what it says. 
Look here. These words down here must be the spell. It says, Mha i sh. It sounds like a magic spell. Mha i sh. Maybe this is the key to kill Scissorman. Hey, thanks. All right. Door spell. Okay, bye, Helen. I leave now. I love how she just stands there in the box. <laughs> the tempter in my place? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's nice right now. I'd say it's nice. Hey, Havoc, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, let's see, got the statue, got the magic thing, gotta use the copper book on the library, wherever the hell that is. Somewhere up here, I think. This is my box, you know? I live in here, says Helen. I love that whoever's not the pro tag just gets shafted so badly. Like, whoever's not the pro tag basically just gets thrown in a box or something, and I just think that's hysterical. Like, Jennifer's, like, the main hero of Clock Tower 1, but if you pick Helen, she's just worthless. Hmm, <laughs> what's in here? Is this the- is this the fake outdoor? No, it's just locked. Okay. Plot armor is very narrow. It is, though. In here? Hmm, garden. Nope. Sort of guarded. Um, this door? Aha! Uh -huh. It worked! What key was that? It is gonna burn? I didn't hear about that. There are many books on the occult. Some writing has been carved into the desktop. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. Some right. yep, writing, okay. Take the dry path, yep, 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 yep. I wonder what this means. There's nothing inside. There's also a candelabra here. A candlestick holder. Wax is ripped here and there. I can use that there, but I need the lighter. If I want to do anything about it. Alright, this puzzle? Yeah, the really silly one. With the monster. That may or may not exist in there. Uh, right. This area always pissed me off. Again, and when I was a kid, I just didn't get this one. Uh, a footstool. A box is on the bookshelf. Then examine the footstool. And I genuinely could not see that box. Like, at all. It's an old lambskin parchment. The Barrow's family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation Barrows, Quentin Barrows. It says traitor. You now have the genealogy. Uh, I can't remember if I'm supposed to use the genealogy next or what. Okay. Over right. Examine this weird thing. There are many books of comp sh sh copper sheets. One book is missing, though. I just so happen to have it. Okay. There's one book missing. I'll put it in, Jen. Jen. Oh, right. I have to examine the floor first, and then I can put it in. Scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Stupid. Okay. Yeah, this game's very finicky about the order you do things. Very, very finicky about it. Uh, 
uh, I think I need to get the genealogy first. I think it's bad if I don't. Peppa Pig? Yeah, we played that earlier. I imagine in speedruns, you just eventually have the pattern down anyways. Okay, cool. Let's run up there. I mean, hey, can't just know the hints and info beforehand. I mean, if I saw a bunch of copper things missing a book, I'd put the book in, you know? That's stupid. Why did we play Peppa Pig? It was for a friend's birthday. She had requested it a good, like, eight or so months ago. I said, yeah, and it came around to that time, so I did that. It was fun. Because I'm a weirdo. How dare you? Oh, Tim's dead. <laughs> smells like something is burning. Yeah, I can- I'm, I never know how to keep Tim alive. I have no fucking idea. Camera's on the forts. Professional camera Tim was using. There's some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Poor guy. Oh shit, you're kidding me. Jen run. Jen out. And Leroy Le Forest, thank you very much for following. Good evening, hello. Let's go bird two birds and one stone and go this way. First. Hey, good evening, good to see ya. Uh, yep. Oh, A, A. You stop that. Hey. Oh, wait, I don't need to use that? That's funny. Okay, uh, let's get the genealogy. Tim is right there. Why do you notice the camera first? Listen. Was Peppa Pig fun? In all honesty, it was exhausting, but it was pretty fun to goof around with. We had fun. <laughs> uh, let's see, it's not upstairs with, uh... Where is it? Where's that genealogy room? Oh, there it is. Never mind. I'm not crazy. The 13th. It's this guy. The traitor. Quentin Barrows. He's the 13th generation. A notice stuck to the back. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people at a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world, Quentin Barrows. Matches. All right. Peppa Pig's target customers? Oh, obviously, like, four-year-olds, five-year-olds. Okay, PS1 Clock Tower? Oh, yeah. We finished Peppa Pig, and I had plenty of time left over, so I was like, eh, why not? I'll play this. Why not? Why not? Uh, let me save again, because I... <laughs> I genuinely forget the order sometimes. I don't want to accidentally get a bad ending from goofing off. Okay. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, right. Candle inside this thing. Or do I need to examine there first? Candlestick holder. Right. Okay. Yeah, now I can examine this because I found the genealogy. I can't see anything, it's too dark. If I examine it again, I die, so... Use the candle on the thing. <gasps> ah, PS2 Goxel. Then matches. Okay. Something is stuck on the back. This looks like a sketch of the mansion. There seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. You now have the mansion map. Cool. Let's go get the dagger next. 
You get sucked into the fireplace. Yeah, something grabs you. I, I assume it's Dan, but... Knowing this series, it could be anything. Okay, I don't have the... <laughs> the thing to actually test... Uh, which one it is, so let's just, uh... Just save. Say I did. Actually, can I test it with the plaque? I forgot. Oh, come on, star plate. A deep shaft, it's impossible to tell how far down it goes. A drawing of the stars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. It's too dark, can't see anything. It'll be fine. So I have a chance of dying horribly. She's dead. I can hear water at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry, the fucking sounds it makes. <laughs> God. You're supposed to have something that lets you uh, remove, uh, change the chances to a 2 out of 3 instead of a... Uh, or a 1 in 2 chance instead of a 1 in 3 chance, but I genuinely do not remember where to find that item. It's like a rock. It's like something like that. She lives. Okay. You can tell she's going to live or die if you listen for a, uh, a droplet of water. If you hear water, you're dead. <laughs> Supposed to go down the dry path. Is it some sort of rock? It is, but I, I genuinely don't remember where it is at all. What was the second death? It's slightly different. I kind of forgot what it is, though. But it's pure RNG if you're going to get it. A dagger with symbols carved on it. You now have the dagger. Bye. Don't fight, run. Just run. Uh, I think I have everything I need to get the ending now. I want to say I do. Oh, wait, no, I gotta go. I still gotta go see uh, Nolan for the key, right? Just a straight up regular zombie. Oh, yeah. There was a zombie in the first game, too. There's just undead walking around. Okay. And yes, death by being flattened, I will say conceptually, is fucking horrifying. Uh, okay. Let's go... It's locked, isn't it, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, this way. And specifically on a ladder, you're already totally trapped. Clock Tower... It, it's funny, I never really consider Clock Tower too violent. But it's got some gruesome failure states, even if there's not a lot of blood actually in the game, you know what I mean? Even though these games don't have a lot of blood, it just... It gets bad. Run, Jen! Okay, he's like... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nolan, you're alive. Jennifer. Nolan, you're alive. Where is everyone? I don't know. Scissor Man attacked us, and everyone scattered. The clock tower death I always found the most brutal, even though it's off screen. Is being thrown into the gears of the clock tower. Nolan, that always felt fucked leg. up to me. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, I'll go. Hey, alligator. By yourself? Mary I'll scared you back. immensely. Oh, she's Alfred terrifying. Found and killed him. Hell yeah. I love Jennifer's resolve in this game. Wh 
What was that? You saw them too? Why is it always I've British seen children? Them a few times already. We're in England, Brave. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. We're in England. So many. What's awful is all these kids were probably stripped of their meat to be used for the, uh, fucking thing they used for Dan Barrows. That's the worst idea. Bones are all over the floor. Mmm. Uh, am I not supposed to get something from, uh... I think I just need to find Nolan alive, right? That's it? <gasps> Is that a hungo? It goes to the girls from Rula Rose. Yeah? Uh... I swear there was... A Wasn't there something here? No, just the bones. Oh, I thought there was a, uh... I don't know why, but I, I thought there was a key in this room. Oh. Huh. Bright red, bright red. Honestly, this game scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> this game really scared me really badly. Clock Tower was terrifying. Nowadays, eh, not so much, but it still gets me from time to time with some of its stuff. How's your things? I'm oh, doing good. Also, meandering I Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Knoll Patrol. Thank you, thank you. I want to say I have everything. I have the, uh, the statue. I have the dagger. And I have the, uh, spell. I, the door spell. I think I'm good. The first two games slightly traumatized me as a kid. They're scary. They really are. I'd say they're, they definitely were scarier back then, but I don't know. They're, they're still, like... I think it's because when you play Clock Tower and when Scissor Man pops out, you're genuinely in danger and you need to run. I think the adrenaline and the anxiety behind it is what makes is what keeps these games fun to play. Because you have to think fast, you know what I mean? I can't stay for long now, but I defo will be back. Hey, totally understandable. Yeah, I hope you have a good day. Is that a door in the bottom? Is that a door in the bottom? I swear there's a way of turning off the water, I forgot. Bye, red. Bye, red. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. There it is! Is everyone except for Jennifer and Helen dead? Uh, Nolan's alive and Beth is alive. I did manage to save Beth. <laughs> Everybody else died. Am I playing broken sword games sometimes? Broken sword games? Is that a company? God, it's wild you can actually hear his, his noose if he dies here. Poor Tim. Yeah, Tim died too. They're point-and-click adventure games. I think I know of them, but I've never played them. Which watch Little Shop of Horrors. I haven't seen that in such a long time. Was Is that a dead body? Yeah, unfortunately. That's Barden. Uh, did I do it right? Did I get the good ending? Yep, yeah, nobody's here. Okay, good ending. Edward, please. I know you're a good boy. Let's stop this and go back to the Granite Orphanage. Edward? You know, I feel bad for Kay, but I never understood why she's hostile in one of the endings. I never really understood that. But, okay. You. Oh, uh. You. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. I love his voice. But my name isn't Edward. It's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor-fingered little runt. Just tries box 
Let's see again. There's a hole about 30 centimeters wide. <gasps> Door spell, Jen. Door spell. Yeah, I guess I guess he just said, "Hey, good luck, Jen." When when Scissor Man started running up to her, I guess I don't know why no one didn't follow him. <laughs> Maybe he was like, "Yeah, let's go," and then he sees the giant scissors and he's like, "Shit!" <laughs> since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. And then Helen. Nolan went to jail. Helen. No, you're just weak. Yeah. God. <laughs> Saved by Helen, really, though? They use the same Helen voice clip like three times in a row. It feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's more awkward than the Sound of One cutscenes. Oh, it's pretty awkward. <laughs> it's pretty awkward. Jennifer decided to go into serious therapy. Helen decided to continue her research, and due to the death of everybody, the department became the head of the department through sheer nepotism. And Nolan went to jail. The end. <laughs> God. <sighs> Stretching. <sighs> the perfect ending, really, though. <laughs> Just, uh, there we go. I do like, uh, I think I like Helen's A ending. Well, no, that's not true. Jennifer's A ending is way cooler with how you do it. But I do like the, the cut scene for Helen A a lot more. Because, I don't know, it feels more fitting to have, like, you know, the two main characters, like, be the ones at the end. As opposed to, uh, Jennifer and Problematic. Got erected, arrested for misdemeanor. Which was how? You have to beat the game with uh, Helen and get A ending. You can't do it with Jennifer. Uh, Helen's ending involves saving Jennifer when she's held prisoner inside the chapel on the right wing that you can't enter normally. You have to like use a key to get in. How was Helen's end? It's a bit similar, but it's Helen and Jennifer surviving. I I'd have to show it. I'll show it one at some point. I can't really explain it. I'll show it at some point. I'd like to show all the endings. It's not like this game takes forever to run through. Maybe I'll do that sometime with all the clock tower hype spawning about. Maybe I'll do that in like December. That could actually be a lot of fun. I got all the endings for Ghost Head. I'm a lunatic. I can do it. <laughs> Don't think I can't. I've got all the clock tower one and all the clock tower Ghost Head endings on the stream. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Boyo Boyo mode? Oh? Boyo Boyo mode. What's that do? <laughs> Secret Boyo Boyo mode in Japanese. Get all ten endings. Really? What is this? 
Get all 10 endings. The ja Oh, it's only the Japanese version of the game. Get all 10 endings if the mode is turned on during the game. All the characters change size and width repeatedly. This, while this is removed in the localized version, the mode can still be functioned and activated with the game with a game shark code. Huh. Weird. Yeah, why did they remove that? That's That's really, really bizarre. Okay. Huh. These credits are long. We need Boyo Boyo modes. Yeah, I'm like painfully curious of that now. That's actually an interesting mode. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Never knew that was a thing. Only in the Japanese version, huh? What a pain in the arse. I mean, I don't mind doing it. I am painfully curious. It's not like the voice acting won't still be in English. Play a modded version of this and that mode enabled. I can just play the Japanese version. It's no big deal. I do have that one. I got it in a, uh, I got in a three-pack with Ghost Head and First Fear. Okay. Well, I said I was going to get all endings anyways, Brave. I might as well just play the Japanese version then. No? What do you mean, no? What, 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 what do you mean zaps you no? How dare you? Yeah, the music at the end is so good, though. Get out of my head. Sorry, I'm looking for somebody to raid while I'm sitting here. <laughs> but hey, with that being said, if you're new here, I got a fancy Twitter. And I got a fancy Discord if you want to know the next time that I do go live, which is every night unless I say otherwise. And tonight, I kind of really want to play Clock Tower 3. I don't know if I'll have enough room for that. I also have a fancy plushie if you want to buy one. Uh, which are currently on sale till uh, for another like 19 days or so. Thanks for the stream space you go to bed. I will. I will. We're at 138% funded right now. Try to get to 200%. Survivor 4. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. Jennifer, Helen, and Nolan all account for that. Thanks for streaming. Hey, no problem, Hongo. Hope you have a good night. The Magical Girl 1? Yeah, I want to play the Magical Girl 1. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I, and that game is very, very silly. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I am tired. I'm starting to... Definitely starting to feel it hit me. I've been up for quite some time. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, so let's see. Let me raid. Ah, oh, you know what? Rathikins is doing some stuff right now. Oh, they're playing a game I was very interested in. It's, it's very different from what we just streamed. It's a very relaxing game called Lake. Oh, I forgot to show you all the opening. The opening to this is Jennifer from the first game. Totally forgot to show you this. Sorry. You gonna take a break tomorrow tonight? Uh I'm not sure. I'm really not too sure. I'll definitely be streaming Higurashi tomorrow. Uh or well on Wednesday. I'm not sure. I'll let you all know. I'll let you know how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. It's Tuesday. I know. I'm aware. Uh Wednesday, uh we'll see. Also, does anybody have an idea for a raid message? By any chance? No, it sounds Can't wait for the CT3 stream? Hell yeah. Maybe we should do that on the 19th. That could be fun. That could be silly. I would like to do something like really nice for the anniversary, though. Maybe I'll push back the date. I'll, th I'll think of something, though. <laughs> that looks lovely. Oh, you're right. Here. Clock my tower. Here, we'll do this from the Peppa Pig part of the stream. <laughs> oh, by the way, Hongo, we stream Peppa Pig. <laughs> but hey, I hope you all have a good night. Hope you all have a good day. 
I will see you all later uh, tonight. Not sure what we're streaming, but we'll be doing something. And if you need me, I'll be floating around the Discord. I am probably going to go fiddle around and then go pass out. Have a good day and have a dang good night. Rock Tower.